What's going on, everybody? Happy Saturday morning, Saturday evening, Sunday, I think, for some people, uh, depending on where you are from. This is the Uncanny Omar. I hope everybody is having a great weekend. It's uh, Memorial Day weekend here in... <laughs> so Sorry. Uh, this is what happens when I don't get out much. I forget uh, what, what weekend this is, but yes, um, it's a Memorial Day weekend, so I hope everybody is out there staying healthy and safe. And yeah, today I'm um, starting the Saturday chat. My wife should be back soon. She's out getting her hair did. So she said it's it's um, it's lasting a little bit longer than she thought it was going to be. So yeah, I'd love to know where everybody is from. Please, where's mama? I just she's she's getting her hair did, man. Y'all make sure to tell her her hair look good. What's up, Joe? How you doing, buddy? Look there, Joe. Still need to play with the kids, but it's down there. What a great Saturday, sis, with Omar and Melanie. Well, Melanie's coming. And the Vegas Golden Knights in round two of the NHL playoffs. I can't, it can't get any better. Love from Scotland. Thank you so much. What's up, Chris Baga? How you doing, buddy? You are so welcome. Yeah, I was on Chris's podcast. Chris, if you want to tell everybody where they can find it, please leave it in the description. It was a lot of fun to talk to you about one of my favorite stories of all time, and that is God Loves Man Kills. Mel Mac, what's up, Joe? <laughs> Wait a minute, that's Alf. You're lying. Shout out from LA. What's up, Ringmaster? How you doing? St. Louis. Is it is St. Louis damp right now? Is it greeting again from Great Wild North? Superior Travis, how you doing, buddy? Love your picture. Hopefully one day that will be collected in an omnibus. I hope so. Danville, Illinois. It's May 29th in the year 2021. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Right? Still for some people, most people. What's up, Jake or not? How you doing, buddy? Happy Saturday and all that jazz is right. Uh, Melanie will be here soon, I promise. What's up, Aaron from Boston? Omar, where's the cat? My cat? My, I got two cats. Cats are upstairs right now. Netherlands in the house. What's up? And greetings from Poland. Happy happy Saturday. Hi, Omar. 4 p.m. in Birmingham, Birmingham, UK, not Alabama. Hello from Maine. Starbucks for Omar too, right? Yes, yeah, sometime, sometime. Maybe she bring it back. She bring it back. Ohio from Ohio, <laughs> nice. Krakoa, woo! I wish I could be partying with those people. Hey, Omar from Australia. I hope you're doing well, dude. Thank you so much. I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing all right. Not bad. What's up, Jonathan? What's up? I'm coming at you from a, my empty bathtub. You better fill up that bathtub. Ain't no sense in sitting in an empty bathtub. Unless, I mean, that's your thing. What's up from Texas? Saludos desde Seattle. Man, I love that city. Love that city. Search for Geek Ultimate Alliance on any podcatcher, everybody. This is Chris Balga. I was on his show. Uh, the show is the world's finest true believers within a within that podcast feed. feed. We were talking about God Loves Man Kills. One of my favorite uh, stories of all time. Mad Boy from Michigan. You sent some art yesterday. Thanks, man. We'll be keeping an eye out in the P.O. PO box. So, yes, uh, our P.O. box, in case you want to send us something like fan art or whatever it is you want to send us, is near mint condition. P.O. box 1678, Versailles, Kentucky, or Versailles, Kentucky, depending on where you're from. Or in case you live overseas, because it does get expensive, uh, you can always email us your digital files at nearmintcon at gmail.com, and we will love to show off your artwork. What's up, Hayden? Oh, look at you from Sunny Wells. Oscar Arul Arala. How you doing, buddy? Which one is better, Mark Wade Flash or Jeff Johns Flash? That's like asking me which one is better, Carl Barks Flash or... Don Rosa Flash, but I think if I uh, Flash, they didn't do Flash. They had Don Rosa and Carl Barks, Scrooge and Duck Comics. Okay, uh, for me, I think it's Jeff Johns. I think uh, Mark Wade did an amazing job building the mythos of Flash and the Speed Force and all these other characters, and it was wonderful. But I think by the time Jeff Johns came on board, he took all of that and just perfected it. I loved it, and then fleshed out the freaking. Uh, Rogue Gallery. Oh, yes. What's up, BJ? How you doing, buddy? Shout out from the blazing hot Philippines. It's a gorgeous day in St. Louis, Central Illinois. Saludos, Puerto Rico. Hola, como estas, mi hermano? 
what was your motivation to read comics to read comic books uh that was a pretty easy uh answer the pictures uh, my first batch of comics that i got outside of condorito when i used to read them in peru were comics in english and i could read them so i followed the pictures Omar, show us your cats. They're upstairs right now. They got a little camera shy. I'm here in the hair salon. There's a woman who's holding up everyone with her hair. Because I'm Melanie. Are you talking about Melanie holding up everybody? What's up, Omar? What are your thoughts on Cobra Kai season 14? Come on, man. Terry Silver's back, baby. Man can't breathe. He can't fight. Man can't see. He can't fight. I, love I know Karate Kid 3. Okay. Next Karate Kid is probably the most hated Karate Kid. I think even more so than the Kung Fu Kid with uh, Will Jaden Smith, but I I like Karate Kid three, even even Robin uh, Robin Lively in that movie, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm excited. I'm glad. I hope they get the actor back because I heard he, he was retired from acting. Greetings from the UK on holiday. You should have a letter arriving from me soon. Awesome, awesome. Hey, hey, good people. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Time for waffles coffee and comics. I like that. I like that. I wish I had a uh, waffle and uh, coffee. Oi, from Australia. My back hurts, but it doesn't hurt to be back. <laughs> I hope your back feels better. Sorry I'm late. Looking good over here in Scotland. What's up, Mark Williams? How you doing, buddy? Hello from the land of Ikea. Are you in Ikea? Is that where you've been, Final Shadow? Do you work in Ikea? Or are you talking about Switzerland? Omar, this is a stretch, but chances of DC collection of Alex Toth comics. Um, I think it would be outside of DC to do that. I think it would be a smaller company that wants to focus on that. I don't even know if DC knows who Alex Toth is at this point in that collected editions department. Maybe, maybe one day. What's up from England? How you doing, man? Condorito. I read those. Over here in Puerto Rico, as well as Turei, El Taino. I used to read that Condorito, and there was another one, too. I can't remember. I, I wish I had them. I wish I still had them. Hi, Omar. Cheers from a croat in Denmark. I am venomized symbiotic existence. Have you seen that they announced Spawn Compendium Volume 2 for December? What are your thoughts on that? My thoughts on the compendium? Cool. Let them keep coming. I hope it means that they'll reprint the hardcover editions for those people that want hardcover versions of those stories and for the people that want the covers because the covers are not included in the compendiums. So uh, happy for all those that are following Spawn uh, and getting them in compendium format. Omar, how far behind are you on X-Men? Did you hear about the new X, uh, Hickman X-Men title? <clears throat> I am two, three months behind on X-Men. Yeah. Omar, why did you quit co collecting comics when you were younger? Uh, I think it was a mix of me thinking the definition of getting older is leaving childish things behind. And how dare I think that comics are childish things. I was a uh, senior in high school. I was, And honestly, I was working at a comic book store when I quit reading comics. It's odd, right? I had access to all the comics, and I just I just stopped. Uh, but the crossover of Onslaught, I was uh, – that was it. That was it for me. It was just – I didn't like it. I didn't like the, the way they were uh, heading, the direction they were heading with some of the characters. So, yeah, I just, I just kind of stopped. I found interest in other things, you know. Uh, was about to go into college. Yeah. And I left, I left a few years because I left from Onslaught all the way up until, uh, Grant Morrison's new X-Men. Like, yeah, I want to say it was about, uh, issue 130 something. I, no, it was 120, 120. Because I had read the first arc. My friend Dennis let me borrow the first six issues of Grant Morrison's run and I was back. They brought me back. So, uh, decided to stay when Astonishing X-Men came out, though. Joss Whedon really sealed the deal for me. So, what's up, Tony? How you doing? A sneak peek of the Age of Apocalypse DM. Oh, yeah, this is the third printing. I'm doing an overview of it. Um, it will come out. I think I've got it coming out on Monday afternoon. Because tomorrow um, I'm doing the collected editions coming out in June. And on 
Monday morning, I'm doing my top 10 essential buys or uh, recommended buys. But um, our Patreons do have early access to that video, though, of uh, the upcoming Collected Editions. That will go live this afternoon for our Patreons. Uh, we have different tiers on our Patreon if you want to check that out. But anyway, this is the third printing. Happy for those people that couldn't get it the first time around, second time around, or just brand new to Omnibus Collecting. So this is a very iconic event for the X-Men. Not just the X-Men, but honestly, I mean... Almost, it felt like the Marvel Universe when they ever, whenever they did the X Universe title. But um, yeah, I'll be doing an overview of it on Monday afternoon. If you want to keep an eye out on the channel. Oh yes, I've seen that they've been teasing things. Uh, Al Ewing, Ram V, and Hitch on an ongoing series. Um, so what? Okay, so I saw that Jeff Johns is working with Hitch on a relaunch of JSA, Just the Society of America. And if you know anything about Brian Hitch, he can barely keep up a monthly schedule. How is he going to do two ongoing titles a month? Did he clone himself? What's going on? That, so I don't think – I think he might kick it off, but that's it. That's it. Hey, Omar, are those um, those restocks you just announced, New Mutants, etc., do you know of those are going to be resolicited in previews or just via – well, they wouldn't be previews. Well, okay, so – you can still order through Diamond, but Penguin Random, this is like the first batch of restocks from Penguin Random House. So, I mean, it really it depends on where your retailer is getting books from. So hopefully they do have an account with um, Penguin Random House and are ready to order books, but you can they can pre-order it from there. Um, and speaking of pre-orders, I've been talking to Max. Uh, he's about to launch the cheap graphic novels uh, pre-order thing. Uh, he, um, I'm going to have him on the show, I think, next Sunday to talk about that, some changes that are coming to cheap graphic novels. But you should be able to pre-order. You, you yourself should be able to pre-order where you normally pre-order books from. You, as a consumer, has nothing extra to do. It's up to the retailer to get them. I'm currently reading Garth Ennis, The Punisher, Max. What are your opinions on it? I liked uh, Max a lot. I liked Marvel Knights a little bit better, even though it's funny, right? Because Ennis could really do anything he wanted to in the Max title. But for some reason, I enjoyed those first few story arcs uh, that he did with uh, Steve Dillon and uh, Derek Robertson. But they were kind of limited to what they can do in the Marvel Knights, especially that one that one uh, shot with uh, Joe Quesada on artwork where uh, Punisher is all told through the guys inside of his mouth. And, whoa, look at you. You look good. Come on over here, baby. Um, great question, though. Thanks for the coffee. Um, so, yeah, I like Marvel Knights just a little bit better. Love how Terry Silver, Corporation Tycoon, basically decides to dedicate his entire life to destroying a teenager. <laughs> right? I love Karate Kid 3, man. Do you have it on Vivid? Wait, I got show, uh, let me put it on Vivid. Well, you got to turn that light on, then, if you want to do that. It is on Vivid, baby. On your app? Okay. Yeah. Could you just <laughs> turn that light on? Come on okay. in here. Okay. Karate Kid 3 is awesome, yo. Nothing bad to say on that flick. Loved it. Next Karate Kid or Kung Fu Kid okay. ain't that great, though, right? <laughs> that, 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 that. Ah! It looks so good. <laughs> That's what I wanted. You do. Do. You look good, baby. Wow. I just got it done. Whoa. I'm a bangs are messed up, but. Look at that! What is FOC good. mean? This is because of my symbiote, guys. We're a nation. We're becoming one. My wife has lost her damn uh, mind. She's <laughs> naming her that. symbiote that doesn't even exist. Yes, is, it, yes, she does. What does uh, FOC mean? This is a great question. And uh, so, in the simplest term possible, it is the final cutoff date for pre-orders. So every pre-order has a final cutoff date from the so the retailers has a specific date and they know the date like for example what's uh new mutants volume two right final cutoff date of that uh let's just i'm just gonna make one up is july 4th that means by july 4th the retailers whether it's dcbs whether it's in stock trades whether it's cheap graphic novels whether it's tales of wonder whether it's your comic book store Organic Price Books, Dime Breed Collectors. I'm naming off a bunch of... So, so whether it's any of them, they have until July 4th 
to order New Mutants Volume 2 based on pre-orders or just based on how much they think they can be able to sell. Amazon has the same cutoff date, but they do it differently in the book market. That's all that means. I'm just... <laughs> I'm so happy. No, it looks good. You, you answered questions. And thank you guys for the compliments. James said, I'm, I'm, I'm Dark Phoenix. Now nah, it's going to be my symbiote. Yeah. My hairs are done. Woo. And Melanie's got I bangs. I got a high. Okay. I got, wait, I've always had bangs. Well, for like months. Thank you, guys. Okay, okay. Comics time. Omar, do you know if Marvel's new deal with PRH will mean they'll be able to offer more reprints, restocks that they current can currently? Um, I I can't officially answer that, but I can say in my in my opinion, I think so because it's a little bit different than the way the diamond works. So I mean, you we've seen the 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 restocks coming with the well, they're the same ISBN, but they're coming later on this year, so. I, I, I would like to think so, just based on what I've been seeing and, and reading. Um, I don't have an official answer, though. Thank you so much for the, the, the You guys are firing some good questions this morning. <laughs> it's not a wig! <laughs> no, she's not wearing a wig. Well, yeah, I guess for a few weeks I won't, because I'm, I'm in love. What's up, old man? This is Graham, everybody. 12 years old, but he's an old man at heart. Uh, Graham, he's asking, when is the new Epic Collection book video coming out? I have a Masterworks video that uh, have six upcoming Marvel Masterworks later this afternoon. Um, the Epic video probably sometime next week or the week after. They have to finalize that list and they want to give me some um, some pictures. I, I like doing that with Curtis because we like to guess what what the content's going to be, but I don't know if they're going to let us do that. Maybe they want us to make, uh, maybe they want us to know all the content and the pictures, but it's a lot of fun to go through it and be like, Oh, this is what we think needs to be collected in there. Omar. I'm confused about your last video announcement. All those zombies you said at the end of the video are reprints or restocks. They are. Oh my goodness. How do I explain this? They are officially reprints, but not, but to, to simplify it, I call them restocks. They are going back to press, but they're not changing the ISBN. So, um, you know, your ISBN, this thing right here, if it's different, that usually means the book is out of a system and they're going back to print with that. Uh, with restocks, the, the book is still in the system and Diamond or PRH, in, uh, in this case, can pre-order the books. So while I call it a, uh, a, a restock, it's really a reprint and i know it's so confusing but uh i get confused too yeah it's it's a um, notice though the what you showed was the world's greatest detective not the world's six out of ten detective buried alive well somebody needs to read, <laughs> uh, make that what's up bj kicks how Thank you doing you. bye buddy this backfired i'm supposed to be listening to you while i pack instead i'm just sitting down <laughs> watching you talk shaking my head how well, you do doing, you need man? a break have you been packing? Maybe it's a good break. I don't know. Um, oh, yeah. We talked about on um, Super Squad D, Tyler's uh, live chat with Omnidog yesterday about get. I need my own personal figure collection again. There were reboot figures. You have reboot and Nightmare Before no, Christmas. No, 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 no. No, starting it again. Oh, boy. But there's not. And then I thought about it, James. There's no... There's no literally no place to put them. We gotta get a new house. Here. I would like, I would like to start my own collection again. That would be fun. Yeah. Let me get rid of your transformers. And oh. Unicron's taking too much space. Unicron's, Unicron's still in the box. I Unicron's need to get my still act in the together. living room. <laughs> Omar, do I need to somehow pre-order all these restocks, reprints, or will they be available on it? They'll they'll be available like normal books are, or like your normal omnis. Yeah. There's nothing super duper special about these no limited prints but i always tell people if they are interested in something to always pre-order to make sure you get your books mm. oh okay i'll do that next hi omar and melanie i read the jason aaron conan ohc recently and i wondered where i can go next i've not read any conan oh this. wow you haven't read any conan before oh my goodness um if you like that You'll okay. So my gateway to Conan was Kurt Busiek's. Well, of course, the movies, uh, and then the, I actually read the uh, the books. Uh, but 
the comic version, my gateway was Kurt Busiek's run on uh, Conan. And that's been uh, collected at Marvel. And uh, from there, it became just Roy Thomas and then Savage Sword of Conan. So my suggestion, I strongly suggest reading the Kurt Busiek run of Conan. It is freaking awesome. Max saying I like uh yeah, BJ Kicks. BJ Kicks. What well, what up, Omni fam? What's going on, Dying Breed Collectors? Good morning to everyone. Super excited about all the restock announcements. Yeah, man. Hopefully that will mean more. Blink twice if <laughs> Cody putting me on the spot. I ain't blinking. If one of the masterworks works is ASM volume 24. I, I, I gotta blink. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kick out Omar. And you've got tons, tons of space. space. Really? Are you serious? She you also said out? you could do the opposite, dye the top of your hair red and ombre into just your natural color. I'm okay. <laughs> the original Robert E. Howard's Conan stories are simply incredible, too. Absolutely. Yeah, you really like them. Mm hmm. He was phenomenal. My husband, my, my, I'm your husband. My father did as well. <laughs> your dad was a fan of Conan? Yeah. Your dad was Conan. Like, he yeah, was he a was. rugged, big, muscular dude, man. With his own sailing ship with a pirate flag, and he climbed bridges because he was a chief at bridge inspector of the state of Kentucky. That dude, <laughs> that, her dad. Uh, Harley Davidson. Did not, like, he, her dad's uh, arch nemesis was OSHA, which yeah, is he here, here in, in the United <laughs> States, it's the safety <laughs> people that go around because he didn't wear any safety gear whenever he climbed bridges. He used to do pull up on bridges. Remember that? Uh, I mean, he was a like, bad man. Blink, blink twice if you need to blink. Uh, need a blink. Now you, you got a break. You can blink. Omar, um, Omar's going to have some clockwork orange action. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Good morning, Mentees. What's up, Jose Hi, Fuentes? Jose. I started listening to the Sandman audio drama before, and now I'm hooked on the story, and I'm going to have to pick up the new deluxes. They're beautiful. Somebody love... asked earlier about which, uh, in terms of money and content and whatnot, which, which way is best to collect Sandman? Ooh. Oh, what a great question. I think, honestly, Sandman to me is one of my top, ten, top five favorite non-superhero comic book stories of all time. So to me, if it makes it on that list, then I... It deserves to be in an oversized format. And the most beautiful editions, I think, are the absolute editions. That's what I was going to say. Uh, but for your money, best yeah. bang for your buck, you're probably better off with, uh, you know, the trade paperbacks. There's a box set available. Um, the deluxe editions are easier to read, but they'll be more expensive in the long run than the Omnis. Now, if you can stand the Omnis, like, they're big because there's only three of them, and that, but that's all you need. They're $150 retail price uh, each. So you're talking about $450 retail. But they are the best bang for your buck if you like oversized artwork and can stomach the idea of whole, having a huge book in mm -hmm. your arms. Mm -hmm. So that's my suggestion. Great question. What are the chances of DC ever does an oversized uh, collection of the losers? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the losers have been out of print for so long. I, I really that's a good question. No, if the movie had blown up, I would have said the the chances of that happening would have been a hundred percent. But since the movie just kind of sat there and nobody even really went out of their way to view it, yeah. I'm gonna say slim right now. Yo, Minties, can we get some love for my sister? She isn't really in the comics, but for my birthday, she bought me the entire Mike Grell Green Arrow run. Hopefully, I can get her in a comic. Oh, that's, oh, that's really awesome. Sweet. Dude, I love that. I so love that run. Is today your birthday, or I guess it was previous? Or? When was your birthday, Timmy? Happy birthday. Happy birthday Regardless. to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Timmy. Happy birthday to you. That's hard to sing fast. Mm, uh -huh. Thank you, Mega Shrimp, sir. Thanks for Super Chat, brother. Hello. Sweet. Sunny Sweden. Sunny Sweden. Great hair, Melanie. Thank you. Even the Masterworks market is getting crazy. The shop I used to, or I, I use only had one extra copy of Hulk Volume 15. Also looking forward to Ewing's Immortal Alf. Where did that come <laughs> from? I love that you kept that all the way to the we end. We haven't talked about Alf in a while. Okay, don't get James started. <laughs> Uh, Hi, so, Arthur. yeah, so the Masterworks is, is has always been limited, though, right? Like, the direct market versions have always been limited to, I think, 700 and something copies, and that's it. And they rarely reprint them. And by rarely, I mean never. So 
that's why a lot of people have problems getting into the Marvel Masterworks. They're they're beautiful unless you start a new line. If you if you can start a new line, that's awesome. Uh, they're wonderful. Like I I've always said, they're the cream of the crop. Is that the right saying? Cream of the crop. Um. Yeah. For a reboot, Todd saying, "I'm the cream of the crop," or you're the cream. Really? You All can't right. even reference oh. reboot properly. No. Hey, I've got a whole thing memorized. Who, oh, look who's joining us. Oh, hi, Maddie. Hey, I finally had time. What's up? How you doing? Good. How are Good you? I miss you. How are, yeah, miss how you, are too. you doing? Good. How's your... <laughs> I've had so many busy weekends I haven't been able to join in, so I was like, okay, I'm free until noon. They're live. So I jumped in the shower. I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah, welcome, welcome. All right. Okay. But you can answer this question too. Here's your here's another top five question. I love these top five questions. Who are your top five human comic book characters without any powers? You like Jean Jean De Wolf? I did. Jean De Wolf. What's her but name? But she kind of died. Well, I know it's there's no stipulation. This is a I'm great. A this is a not. great question, Maddie. You want to shoot some out? Who are uh, your favorite non super powered humans that are either supporting cast or or main? Now, now, what if they get That's like a hard they're, they're, they're not, they don't have any superpowers, but they can get inside of, I don't know, an iron suit or perhaps wear a green lantern you ring? Are you know, I'd say like Red Sonia counts. She's not technically superpowered. Oh. Guts. There you go. She's just strong. Uh, um, that's hard because I, I just keep thinking of like favorite, just regular slice of life. It's hard to think. I guess like. I mean, Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> I'm trying to think of the oh, 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 uh, cheating uh, thing. Batman. Arsenal. He's Roy just Harper really not, good well, at shooting arrows. Well, okay, Roy Harper. Technically, according to like the descriptions for later this summer, is going to have powers. So, like pre right now, Roy Harper. And Batgirl. I don't know. I'm just naming people. Okay, okay. That's a, yes, I agree with Luke. Alfred is oh, yeah. excellent. Mm -hmm. I was going to say somebody like, um, yeah, this is a good question. Aunt May. Mm -hmm. Hawkeye's a good answer. Too. Depending on the writer, though. I'm, I'm trying to stay out of like super. If I went, because if I went that route, I'd be like Batman, even though he's well, six yeah. out of 10. Um, uh, I mean, could you? <laughs> any of the leads in like uh, Terry Moore books? It's hard, it's hard to like strangers in paradise. Yeah. From Mason and Koku. Yeah. And she's like, so this this could be easier. Yeah. Uh, yeah, manga, I suppose it's easier to pick from. Yeah, it's just any slice of life manga. Oh, Yorick Brown and Agent 3. Charlie Brown! I like that answer too. Darkwing Duck is is not a human being, Kyle. Where what yeah, that's a tad, Oh, okay. Yeah, that's true. He doesn't it's a tad from Alf. No, there's, there's only Batman. <laughs> oh, great! Garlu says both Nana's from Nana. Uh, and uh, Red uh, forever. They ever wrap uh, up? Tulip from Preacher. I think they finally did. I know that the anime is available again now. Oh, um, Doctor Tenma from Monster. <laughs> oh, good, good answer. Good answer. Omar, I want some recommendations for X Men. I love Wolverine. Bet can. But learn yeah. to love Cyclops? Where's this question going? <laughs> um, if you like Wolverine, I definitely think uh, Uncanny X-Men Omnibus Volume 3, man. That's got you. That's got the first Wolvie miniseries, and it's got God Loves, Man Kills, plus or, from the ashes. Just read new, all new Wolverine. <laughs> all new Wolverine is one of my favorite runs of all time. I was a big, uh, I was a big pusher for that one. Yeah. They had forgotten about that run, and I'm so glad. And I told David, uh, I talked to him last week. I was like, you know, all new Wolverine selling really well. Just saying. I mean, there's enough for an X23 omnibus. Just saying. Just saying. Amazing Joe is getting meta. What are your top five, top five lists? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. too much. I don't even know where to start. Arthur, um, do you, I don't I don't know if Omar downloaded the artwork. Did you download it? I did. I got okay, you. so at noon, we'll show your artwork. Okay, buddy? Yep. Yeah. Maddie, can you read this? No. <laughs> you are a language master. I'm so disappointed. <laughs> That's your superpower. You could, your superpower is that, reading any language. Doug, Doug Ramsey. That's why he got shot and killed 
And then they he brought could, him back. I love that story, though. Poor Dead Doug is one of my favorite stories. All right. Hi, Omar. Are you going to review X-Men by Hickman Omni? Absolutely. Uh, they keep changing the solicit for it, though. I just saw that they added uh, the X of Swords. Uh, so I don't even know where that's going to end up going. Yet. What? Sorry. Oh, my gosh, Chris. I got a chance to interview J.M. Demetrius. Demetrius yesterday I brought up to him the idea of collecting Spider-Man and Omnibus, and he really loves the idea and said he has no idea why Marvel has not. Right? Because the creators have no say in it or even know when they get Omnis. That is so cool, Chris. You've got to talk to him. He's an awesome dude. I've, I met him at uh, conventions. He's Whoa. a really good guy. Wrote some of my favorite stories of Justice League and, yes, of course, uh, Spider-Man. But also X-Factor, which I think is a very underrated run. Please show the Penguin one because I am really excited. Okay. Okay, Arthur. We got you, buddy. We got you. All right. Let me get some super chats here. Jack uh, was Jack Barry. Jack was yeah. first. Yeah. Question for Maddie. What are your personal you, Jack. Oh. You know, I made a video, and I remember asking Maddie to make her video of top 10 favorite monk. I know. It's just saying. Um, so off the top of my head, Monster, uh, One Piece. Um, we got 96 in. Nice. Um, oh, man. Okay. That's coming. Uh, even... Mars. Yep. I have to um, ooh, Kurosaki Corpse Delivery Service. Excellent answer. Um, and I already one said one piece. piece. <laughs> I thought that was the voice inside your head. <laughs> um, uh, I will say, we'll say, uh, Berserk. No, we'll one. say 20th Century Boys. Actually, no, we'll say Sailor Moon. We'll say Sailor Moon. Okay, I was gonna say two were Asawas. Wow. Uh, yeah, you two good, should do your, you, you, should, you two should do your own list. I'd have to think for. A I while. made my I made my top twenty, <laughs> and I love like people. Even though I'm like, this is my top 20, you know, just my opinion. And pe I still get uh, comments on those videos like, this list is garbage. And I, and I also said at the beginning of the video, I'm like, you realize I am also a 40, at the time I made that was a 42-year-old yeah. 42, 42 man that has been reading manga for well over 30 their plus years. Their opinion is that your list is garbage. You asked to well, share their opinion. People like, are so well, elitist, right? I, Someone was like, like, my, like, my, my know, lists are different. Fun. And my favorite manga might necessarily might not necessarily be the best manga. Right. It's missing. But my the favorite's point. my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's missing the, the end. I love Mars, <laughs> and that's like an old shoujo. Yeah, that that's awesome, fantastic. Man. But yeah. that's not gonna be everybody's top list. This guy was going off on me because I didn't have Attack on Titan. I'm like, dude, I don't even know what's in the basement. It's like, not even, I just ah, finished. Finish. It only just finished. Just so like finished. Yeah. But my number one was Berserk. And I'm like, and yeah. that's not finished. So I broke my own rules. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought uh, and I was like, I've been uh, reading manga for 30 plus years, man. It's hard to make a top 20. Uh, yeah. I tried X-Men and Astonishing X-Men, but didn't what, click. What Sam Oh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Um Thank you, Jorge. Omar, what's up with the Civil War omnibus, brother? Melanie looking good. Thank you. Keep up the good work, guys. Thank you so much, Jorge. I don't know. I haven't heard anything. But honestly, I think before we get Civil War, we probably will get a House of M omnibus. Just my my opinion. Not <laughs> because of my review, right? No, I'm just <laughs> hey, Hannah. Was that just pop in? Just yeah. we want to say hello and goodbye. Much love. Thank you. Thank you, Hannah. So sweet. Okay. Here. Omar, what are your ingredients of a good X Men run, in your opinion? Be an old wise man, like Chris Claremont. Um, a good X Men run, to me, is. Is really defined by those quiet moments within the big moments. That's what I was gonna say. Those human moments that yeah. you, you rarely see, you know, because playing a baseball game, well, you know, you know what? Yes, it's just like the best parts of manga, like when when long running comic book series can do, where you have that like those slow moments or those slice of life moments, you know, those real character moments that make the big things mean more. They're not gonna mean as much if you don't have downtime with your characters. Yeah. yeah. If you don't care about the characters, then I'm not going to care if they're fighting the brood. I don't care if they're fighting yeah. the apocalypse. And they, they have to have a voice, and they have to have their own original voices. Yeah, there's no which, risk of your character. If you which, don't care about the character, you don't care if they get hurt. Some writers can do, and, and other writers can't. Other writers are, are better at telling the big story of the big epic story, while there are some writers that are better telling stories yeah. about the humanity of these characters. Well, there's a difference between like Hickman and Jeff Johns. Or like Higman and Wade, like you have different types of storytellers. 
Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. 100%. You can tell, I don't, and both can be fans, but you can oh, definitely absolutely. tell there, there are different approaches at the story. Mm -hmm. So I agree. Yeah. Omar, are you saying you're announcing? What, what was the question? Uh, no, I'm Jose. not. Oh, Jose, are you saying you're announcing House of M soon? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's just what I think. Uh, what I think sometimes goes out the window, though. Civil Civil War Omni might change people's opinions of Stark if they only read the regular mini. Uh, what he does in front the frontline. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I am not a fan of Civil War. Frontline was either. ridiculous when they're like, Captain America, you're not a what did they say? Like you're not American if you don't understand what Whoa! my what 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 did she say? It was like Maria or or maybe I can't remember who it was, but it was written by Paul Jenkins and he, and the character was calling out Captain America for not being a true American uh, because he didn't understand what MySpace was and <laughs> and I was like I can't believe I'm doing this. It, it, it shows his dated right. It shows his dated. But I just remember that well, scene. It was, that was a joke. That's right? so funny. No, it was wasn't a joke. a joke. How is it not a joke? Because he felt like, like it was, he felt bad. He was like, "You're right." Like, like I can't remember what happened. But anyway, I'm not. I'm that should be a meme. But I will tell you this: I will buy some War Optimus because I'm a sucker for beautiful artwork. I love Steve McNiven's artwork, and that that story was not. It was good that to me. lady reporter in Frontline. That's what you, Ray Garley said. You don't know the true oh, house. Was that it? You said my space. That feels like such a weird cultural <laughs> thing. I swear to God. Okay, it was my okay, space. I swear to God. Yeah, I said it. That means he's not joking. That's our code. If he's if I'm like I swear to God, I'm then Catholic. He's, then he's not lying. Oh, irredeemable. Irredeemable's perfect. And since Boom refuses okay. to reprint the hardcovers, go the omnibus route. Absolutely. Ah, oh, so good. Hi, Glenn 2K12. How you doing? Sorry, I wasn't here last week. It was my mom's birthday. Oh, I hope your mom had a good birthday. Yeah. Captain America, not America. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you think the A on my head stands for France? Oh, my gosh, Mark Miller. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't the think A stands for what? That was the big line. Like I, I heard that he couldn't go to conventions in France without being harassed. That he wrote in The Ultimate. And Captain America... He's, they're fighting. What were they fighting at, as as guardians or aliens? And they're talking about surrendering. And Captain America said, like, "Surrender." You think the A on my head stands for France? I was like, "That's so <gasps> edgy." Oh. <laughs> Well, I mean, to be fair, that's a very American thing to say, I feel like. Hey, not a Captain America thing to say, though. That's true. <laughs> Your dogs are having a party oh, over there. Oh, is Will Defoe seriously returning? That's the that, rumor is. That is amazing. That's the rumor. Oh, he is my boyfriend. I just didn't like Civil War that much either. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not saying if, if you love it, that's awesome. Good. There's a lot of stories like Avengers the Crossing that I love that I don't think anybody else likes. And, and you know, it's all a matter of opinion. It's all as long as you love it, that's all that matters. Was my my space on Cap's MCU Black Book? I got it. I'm not kidding. It was part of Frontline. And uh, what was her name? It was it was the reporter they were trying to make the new Jessica Jones, Lori. I can't remember. She was created in that uh, decimation storyline. It was not that good. It was a Qatari. Yes, you're right. It was a Qatari. They were fighting and they were like talking about telling Captain America to surrender. Bill, did you draw your picture? That's really good. Whoever drew it, that's good. Any word on Simonson uh, is doing a volume four? I think he is. I think it's. Uh, they, I wish they reprint those hardcovers. Somebody told me that volume two is out of print right now. I found um, the other day my NaNoWriMo novel. Did you ever do that, Maddie? I don't know if you like to write. National Novel Writing Month? Yeah, I never did, but I have a lot of friends that do. I haven't written in like some time, but I do have fan fiction on the internet. Okay, well then. But that's, that's you won't find it. <laughs> okay. Um, an old, old username. I was pregnant with Lydia and Omar bought me a laptop because I was doing National Novel Writing Month, but I was too sick being preggers that I quit. But I found I wrote like 100 pages mm -hmm. and it was about Ragnarok. I was doing my own spin on Ragnarok, like in modern times and like secret agents and stuff. Oh, that's so cool. I'm going to read it and see what in the world I wrote. My page numbers, some you of them are numbered it. and not. <laughs> yes. Well, you know, there's a couple of good, like, um, there's a, there's a, I forgot which country it is, but there's a there's a show on Netflix right now called Ragnarok. It has like a modern spin. And there's also uh, a show from New Zealand 
that's really funny that I descended that you'd like, where these brothers are like the reborn versions of these Norse gods, because the Norse gods oh, went to nice. Australia or New Zealand or whatever. Oh, that's and cool. it's that's very cool. angsty and fun. You would like it. Look, right now, my daughter and I are hogging the TV because we got into what we like to call Hex Kitchen. And Why aren't you into Hex the Hex Mighty Ducks? How many times do I have I'm to good. come on this channel? I cried my eyes out yesterday over my ducks, and no one's watching it with me. The TV, the TV show. <laughs> yes, Game Changers. Why aren't you watching the Mighty Ducks? Because, because dude, Mighty Ducks. Like, I, 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 we just finished watching Gurren Logan. We finished. Oh, okay, we I, I, I forgive you. I forgive you. I liked it. Oh, it. I'm so happy that Gurren Logan's perfect. I'll forgive this. All right, oh. all right. Thank you, thank you. I'm forgiven for Mighty Ducks. Uh, so here's for another prosthetus uh, sin. Uh, I also have not seen the Mighty Ducks, just like I have not seen Space Jam. That's yeah. fine, but go watch the Mighty Ducks. <laughs> I haven't seen the original. Is go what I'm watch saying. the original. That's what I'm saying. Like, and then I'm... watch the show. My Emilio Estevez was a young gun. All right. Hi, Melanie and Omar. And I'm uh, and Maddie. I'm sorry. Hi, Melanie and Maddie. Omar, <laughs> what's the latest? I actually have an answer. I just talked to uh, what's my What's the contact. latest on Street Fighter Five HC Volume 1? Because BJ Kicks is now packing and he needs to listen, not watch. Okay. Uh, I have so, to read it for him. Thank you. Uh, so... The 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 status on that is that Diamond still has not gotten the books from the printer. So my contact at Udon told me that as soon as they get them, they'll be out. So it looks like sometime in July is when that book will come out finally. There's two uh, super chats. With us. And when uh, you like scroll down, it like jumps yeah, to the but bottom. this thing sometimes drowns them and then we miss them. Hey guys, sorry if you are already discussed this, but do you what do you think is going to happen with DC uh, with the Discovery, AT and T, Warner merger? Thanks for all the hard work. I think, I think you. I think there's going to be a shift in the direction that they had with. Uh, I don't think it's going to affect the comics much. I would love them. Uh, I would love for them to reshuffle everything and get the collected editions department fixed. But I think it's going to affect the TV shows and movies more than it's going to affect the uh, comics. That's yeah, why I, I feel like it already has. Cause there's been some shift in the TV shows, which is it's time. But there's you're seeing a. a, a you're definitely seeing a shift right now with like the newer CW DC shows that are coming out versus what we have had. There's a lot of HBO shows coming out too. Mm -hmm. that have been... Now, you know, me, oh, yeah, Naomi, which is cool. Yeah. Me. I never believe anything that gets green lit. I don't care what I hear until I see an actual trailer. Yeah. Teaser teaser trailer. I, I actually believe that we are going to get that Batman movie now, but as far as this flash movie, whatever still doesn't exist in my head until I see something. Martin, I love this idea. Craven the Hunter it's solo film. It is? Yeah. Oh, sweet. But again, it's but again, it's Sony. Sony has told us before that we're gonna get a Sinister Six movie. We're gonna get all these things, oh. and then they've canceled them. So it's but they you know, Amanda and I was we're talking about this on Wednesday. They casted the guy he's got three first names, like Aaron, Taylor, John, or something like that. Hey dude, what are you doing down here? Come here. Your puppy came down. Come here. Um, Thomas, thank you for the super chat. Hey, Omar, Melanie, and Maddie. After reading the Nightwing New Fifty Two run, look, Strider. Oh, uh, well, he used to do. He used to do the collected editions. Uh, when he was videos, a puppy. When he was a small dog. Now he's a big dog. Um. Uh. After reading the Nightwing New Fifty Two run, is it better to read Grayson next oh, yes. or go straight to read? Yeah, I think go read Grayson. Yeah, Re Grayson is part of that Fifty Two uh, era, and it leads into Rebirth, like the uh, the last few. Can you? Him. Sure. I don't know what he's doing. Thanks, baby. Oh, Beast Wars! Are watching Beast Wars? I love Beast, Beast Wars. Wars. Still holds up. You guys like Reboot? Eh, no, my wife hates Reboot. Well, do you think it's okay? Love Reboot. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay for me. No, it is it's not, not, baby. Okay, come here, Strider. Strider. He, he will come down here and start chewing on my comics. Uh, we're, we had a couple of sweet tooth questions. Hmm. Somebody asked, is it worth reading? I say, absolutely. It is. 10 out of 10. I, but I know how you feel about Lemire's art. <laughs> I'm not gonna say I hate it. I am not the biggest fan. I don't seek it after it. It is not. It does not speak to me at all. I have a hard time looking at it. But I love that story so much that I read it all. All the issues of my hardcovers. Like I, I couldn't stop reading it. It was so good. I will say that the first two thirds mm. of it I enjoyed more, and the last part kind of felt a little bit rushed. Yeah, but that's okay. It's still good. I tell you what, though, the TV show feels like it has a different tone. Yeah, I'm very curious because I fear like what they're gonna do with like uh, Lock and Key, and I'm not a fan of the TV show of Lock and Key. I, I was that. not at all. 
uh, because I think they missed the point of lock and key. I fear that that's the way they're heading, which I don't know. I mean, it could it could work. Yeah, Chris and I are going to do a comparison show mm. about it. Yeah. And then we are talking about Sweet Tooth on Over Your New Reader sometime this month, too. Awesome. Uh, Great Garlu. I've never watched it, though. It's yeah. so oh, I love the dub. But Maddie, you, Maddie likes a dub. I'm a dub what? only for that one. Oh, really? Duke and, like, there's no so way they can do this. Yes, a, I'm telling you, they do. Duke the Giga wow. Drill Break? No it's, way. He does a great, Kyle Hebert does a great job as Kamina. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I really, really like the dub. And I'm not, I'm one of those, like, I. I have a degree in Japanese, so I'm not against ever watching this up. <laughs> but like, um, I, I like I like the dub in it. And once I watch one one way, I can't go back. So like One Piece I, sub only. I get you, Ron, yeah. Ron, Ron, Ronma for us. Absolutely, I can't watch in Japanese. So, yeah. Dude, you should say that with uh, like brag more. Like I got a degree in Japanese, dudes. I lived there. <laughs> Yeah, like uh, we went there for a couple of weeks, okay? And I yeah. have been buying toys from Japan <laughs> for way longer than you've been alive. So okay, that's so probably true. Down. I went to Japanese high school. I have pictures. I had it out like a I wore I had a, a uniform. I've been kicking like so many people's butts on Street Fighter and Neo Geo fighting games. I know my fighting moves in Japanese. All right. Uh, I know we're getting a Hickman X-Men omnibus, but what we really need is to I'm with you, Darren. It's a two-volume Dawn of X Omnibus. Map it out as far as X of Swords with all the X titles. Then we can get a Reign of X Omnibus. I'm actually in that same mentality. I wish that instead of getting the oversized hardcovers, uh, we were getting Dawn of X Omnis. And But because of the uh, oh Jonathan Hickman Omnibus, Kind of makes me think they're not going to do the Dawn of X on these. And if they do, it won't be for a long time. Just because that's just too much double dipping. And yeah. A Norse god lives in Australia. He is called. <laughs> I want to trim your mustache. Okay. This is later. Scissors. <laughs> okay. Yes, Arthur, we will show your artwork. You have a good afternoon. Hi, Anna. Right. Is Age of Apocalypse Omni worth it? I've never read it. I love X-Men, but really dislike 90s comics and crossovers. For example, I really dislike X-Men Apocalypse at 12. Should I buy it? I need to read it. I, I'll be honest with you. I It's the last event that I enjoyed from X-Men before I left comics. Like uh, Before you broke up with comics. Before I had that breakup. <laughs> I had to come to Jesus moment with comics. No, it's a lot of, <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. You know, it's, 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 this, but it's an easy grasp for me because it's one of these things like it's all the characters, you know, but they're written differently and they look differently. They, they, they look, they're a lot more edgier. They're darker. Why? What happened to them? I love that. That it, It's your classic days of future past alternate reality. Dude, I'm a sucker for that craps to this day. A TV show can be, straight up garbage and you throw in a days of future past on an alternate reality uh episode i'm in i'm like oh this is awesome that's like so much star trek it, it, well they've done you know it, it's so much every tv show that i think has done it uh community did that uh evil abed and troy yeah episodes. yes that was so fun i'm a sucker for those things so it doesn't take a lot for me it's a, it's great i love that magneto's character is so awesome you know what if professor xavier had died and magneto led the mutants and apocalypse you know took over the the world. It's a good story. Uh, real quick, Great Garlu asked for a picture. It didn't happen. So I found one. Oh, good. But <gasps> look Matt, at that. Cute. That's a convention, and you know it. Oh, no, I, I, Japanese school I lived in Akita, Japan. I was 16 for the summer. I went to high school there. Nice try. That that's, is that's adorable. Me. That is a wow, cute Wow, what a, like, you're so lucky to have that experience, right? Like, oh yeah, the, the rest of your life. Oh yeah, I think everybody should study abroad. I didn't like Hawks Pox at <laughs> all, but I did just buy all three East of West. Man, going. you were like, let's jump in. <laughs> oh, East of West is beautiful. You know what? Here, here. My brother hates Hickman's Marvel work, but he loves East of West. He loves Pax Romana. He loves Nightly News. So it kind of shows you that Hickman's own independent stuff is really a lot different than superheroes. Just, you know, there are some great writers out there, Jeff Lemire, who are wonderful at doing their own stuff. But when it comes to, like, superhero stuff, like X-Men, 
which I find very difficult to write, I think. Uh, Ed Brubaker's the same way. I didn't enjoy his X-Men run. Uh, what the heck was my point? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You'll enjoy it. That's my I will point. say, yeah, Jeff Lemire's <laughs> Animal Man is 10 out of 10. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a big Hickman person, but I like Hoxpox. But I, I've been thinking about that, and I wonder if Hickman, Hickman stuff is better in my, for me to be consumed on like a weekly basis, issue by issue, than it is all at once. Because oh, yeah. you have time to sit with the theory and what he's playing with, and you read all at once, you kind of lose that fun of it. It's impossible to read all these comments. Actually, yeah. reading practically all the comments, yeah, we can't show them all. But if you write something, most likely I'll read it. Yeah. Hey, Omar, hoping Age of Apocalypse Omni isn't like Wolverine Omni 2, fingers crossed, isn't out of out of print. Yeah, so Wolverine 2 is coming is, is coming out out of print. All three covers are gone. So hopefully there'll be a restock of that in case people miss out on it. Okay, I, I will say that I agree with Maddie that uh, Animal Man by Lemire was classic. It, it's good. But I mean, I need to read that too. Uh, Morrison. Oh, Ooh, it's so good. But so more good to love it. Live level. Just say, just say, just read, read. You can read, read oh, Lemire's oh, run with me. Okay, you can do that. <laughs> I was reading um, uh, Gotham City of uh, of Sirens. Wait, what's the name of it? Harley Quinn's Gotham, oh, Gotham City Sirens. Yeah, I was reading it while I was waiting for my my color to set in. Um, so James, I'm starting it. It's summer, even though it's like 50 degrees here in Kentucky. It's hashtag Summer Sirens. Uh, Ty Tyler from Super Squad D. Even, he can keep going, Super Spider Man, but I'm doing. It's not even summer yet. You're <laughs> yes, already it canceling summer. Yes, it is. Memorial Day's two days. But the point was, yes, Lemire's Justice League Dark was great, and I cannot wait for that omnibus. It's going to be the biggest mm -hmm. omnibus in everybody's house. So it's over 1600. Oh my gosh! Uh, oh, real quick, um, I haven't read it yet, but I did just pick it from the comic book store yesterday, along with like my other pulls and stuff. So wait, that's. Who's the Who's Wonder Girl? Yara Floor. Where's Cassie? Uh, why, <laughs> would I, <laughs> that me. why would I care about Cassie when this goddess exists? Wow. Uh, me? A real it, Amazon? Cassie. Uh, okay, first, uh, first of all, <laughs> you know I'm not mom, a Cassie girl. My I'm, mom is a real Amazon from the Amazon yes, jungle. True. Dude, and, she climbed trees for bananas? A Python wrapped around her waist in the Amazon River, and that's why she hates snakes. And I can't have yeah. a pet snake, or she might uh, come in the house. So I know oh Amazons, and I need my Amazon to have blonde hair and blue jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get rid of Cassie. Well, no, Ca Cassie's in Young Justice. I mean, she's uh, doing yeah, other well, stuff. That's, even, that's like canon, though. though. Okay, you need to give Yara Floor a chance. I'm, I'm not saying Yara. What's her name? She is Yara Floor. God, I'm so out of touch with. Oh my gosh, she's so beautiful, and perfect, and amazing. Okay, that's oh, a I heck of a review. Kath, Cassie's still around, just doing yeah. her own stuff off. Same with Donna. That's not doing anything. You want to complain about Cassie? My girl Donna is not getting enough time. Donna, Donna's been getting the shaft for a long time from yeah. DC, though. Ever since George Perez left New Teen Titans. Omar, Melanie, and Maddie, great to see you guys. Great to Thank see you, you here too, Gabrielle. Yeah. Yada Floor is fantastic. Okay. Yeah, Greg Garley. Well, if so Arya is giving his seal of approval, and so is Greg Garley. Mine doesn't count, yeah. but theirs does. Maddie yeah. doesn't count. <laughs> wow. She, she, I'm called Wonder Maddie for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> yep. You're right. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Uh, oh. I believe you. Yeah, your mom is an Amazonian. My dad is Conan. Yep. We've got... Uh, all right, Maddie, we got to come up with like a nickname... For your parents, what are they good at? Cassie got canceled. What are they? <laughs> oh, she did it. Um, none of that stuff. <laughs> Wait a minute. Well, no, I, do, I do joke no, that my, my dad is is Ghost Rider's dad because they died the same way. Oh. <laughs> oh. But um, my mom is not like a comic book fancy person at all. So I have nothing cool. Oh, no. <laughs> Not bad. I will say she's a she's a strong independent woman. There you go. There you go. She can be an just like too. Lois Lane. I'll take it. Omni Nation Comics. All right, Roberto Rodriguez is saying Yara Flores from Iowa. Is there truth to this? She got adopted to Iowa, I think, but she's not from there. The state of the Iowa state of adopted, adopted Yara Floor. <laughs> I like that's where your brain went. I don't know you talked about whole state. What do you think of 
uh, Hickman, Hickman's new X-Men title, Inferno. I think I haven't heard of that yet. You guys have been breaking the news to me. Omar, announce Conan Omnibus Volume 7 already. <laughs> All right. Here it goes. I can't say anything. <laughs> it may not come out. It may, or it, it may be our very first Marvel Omnibus with a Volume 7 on it. What's really? up, Cisco? Thank I've you, Cisco. Thank you for the super chat. I've collected most Justice League volumes up until now. Do you think I should start collecting the single issues from now on or just wait for volumes to come out? Are you I'll wait about for volumes unless you're worried about FOMO as far as missing out on the actual information. Uh, we still don't have, what's his name? Scott Snyder's complete run that uh, leads into the death metal um, storyline. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. We still don't have Tom King's final. We'll need one more, I think, or two more deluxe editions of Batman. No, they're not in the solicits, and we still need one Scott Snyder. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe just do digital just to be safe until it comes out. Unless you're supporting your local comic book store. Of course. Then do that. Omar, don't keep up with poppies. I don't. Roberto Rodriguez usually tells me what's going on. Chuck Austin should take over Spider-Man. <laughs> no. What? No, Mario Rodriguez. Why did I read that? That wasn't even the super chat. So yeah, there's a new Inferno coming. Only the title was revealed in the end card. Okay. That's cool. Man, speaking of death metal, where is my death metal omnibus? I want to read that stuff. I don't want to read it in five different formats. Somebody wants me to do a reading order, and I'm like, okay. No. Well, here's the thing. I'm going to have to buy $80 worth of like books to do a proper reading order, and that's just metal, right? Yeah, and that's not all the other... That's not death metal. That's the very first thing, because we still don't have anything. Um, I hate it. Never read Preacher. Go the omnibus or absolute route. Uh, for me, Preacher's top 10, so I had to get it in absolute format. I love Steve Dillon's artwork, and it's one of the most... To me, it's one of the best stories that has ever been written and drawn. I love Why it. I is love Mark that asking about a Coronation Street omnibus? That's so cute. What is it? He's asking if you would buy a Coronation Street omnibus. What's Coronation Street? What's Coronation Street? Street? It's, it is a, like a long-running, almost like soap opera show in England. Oh, oh okay. I assume that's what you're talking about, Mark. Which is hilarious. What if he's not? Well, then. We're, we're missing something. <laughs> Okay. Omar, what are your thoughts on uh, Doom Patrol by Morrison? Thanks, baby. Do you think I can just jump in with that? Oh, yes, yes, yes. 100%. Morrison do does... They do their own thing on on uh, Doom Patrol. I'm serious. You don't have to have read anything beforehand. Uh, they, they do an amazing job of reintroducing the characters, introducing new characters. They're, it, it's, it's one of my favorite runs. I, I love that run. And and honestly, if you've seen the TV show, a lot of that is inspired by Morrison's Doom Patrol. Come on, Rat Patrol. I have the Preacher Omnibus. Yeah, I, I prefer the Absolute. Just because that story means a lot to me. Uh, British soap operas used to repeat all the weekly episodes as one big, long omnibus every week. Mm. Yep. Man, ah, oh, FF by Burner, FF by Lee and Kirby. Ooh, that's tough. Because I think to this day, Fantastic Four by Lee and Kirby stand out. Uh, but I'm going to go with Burn. Especially that first half. That first omnibus is so good. You know, sometimes I'm just so amazed at how much you know. I don't know like, anything. I'm just, I'm just, like, just I have Wikipedia. We'll get, you know? I, I got Wikipedia opened and um, oh yeah, right. Ready to fight. I love Jenna Coleman. I love all the casting for Sandman. I think it was cool. Who's Jenna Coleman? Um, so she, sorry, she was the companion for oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, After her Pauly and yet. yeah. Oh, yeah. I fashion I, icon. I love. <laughs> Jo I love her style. Um, Johanna Constantine, so I'm all in for that. Uh, honestly, the only person I had an issue with is, is the lady that's playing Death, and that is because Death, to me, is such an iconic character that looks a certain way in this. Unless they make that part of her character, then I can kind of see uh, I would be everybody else I'm fine with. It's just that one character. And I just don't want it to be pandering is what I was worried about from DC's uh, perspective, uh, that they're just doing this with no reason at all. 
So that's the only one. Everybody else I'm cool with, especially the one that they got. Uh, who is it? The the act the act. They're playing. Uh, oh, what's the not the spare? Uh, Melanie, the endless. What uh, you want me to listen? Destruction, yeah. despair, delirium, no nope. death, desire, desire, dream. Okay, whoever they got casted as desire, awesome, love it. Uh, Maddie, are you reading Jujitsu? Jiu -Jitsu? Um, I'm watching it. So I, I watched all it, all it all, which is fantastic animated. I won't be reading it because I'm if I if I watch a show up until it's caught up and then I read the manga, I'll never go back and watch the show. And the show is so good that I don't want to do that. So like for Promise Neverland, I've read all of it. So I won't go back and which is probably better. I won't go back and watch the anime as it comes up. But oh man, Jujutsu Kaisen is amazing. I could talk about it for hours. hours. My 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 kids. Oh my gosh. Friends are loving that series. Huh? That's how I keep up with just, anime. My kids' friends. The, it really circumvents the like usual shonen trumps in like a light, surprising way. Honestly. Oh good. As, as far as, as Kat Dennings' is death, absolutely not. No, that's not the way I I see death. Like she's just how do I put it? A little too much to be death. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it, you know why? I think it's because she, death herself was based on a real person. And but I, death is low key. And Cinnamon uh, Hayden, was that her last name? Uh, she passed away a couple of years ago, cancer. I remember Neil Gaiman taking up money uh, for the for the lady that death is based on. So I think that's probably why. That's the only one that I'm like, eh, not really down with Could that. Could you imagine the honor of having that death character based on you? Wow. She didn't even know. The hell? She didn't even know until she went she over. She picked at a, up the book, she, right? Yeah, she, yeah. Picked, she went over to a friend's house and. Her, did he tell her? And the friend's uh, was into Sandman. The friend's kid was into Sandman, and she looked at it and she recognized the picture, and she was like, "That's Beast." <laughs> okay, could you she, imagine that? She You're knew like, she was going to be in a comic book. Oh, she didn't know she okay. was going to be Death, though. Right. Omar answers the phone like, "Uncanny Omar here." Nope, <laughs> I barely <laughs> answer my phone, man. <laughs> Uh, hey, Max, you should have chicken shortcake for dinner. That's my answer. There's my buddy, Andrew slash ah, Andrew? Jacob. <laughs> your dad's account again. Is that a different picture? Is that no, the same? That's Jacob or his dad. It looks, I don't know. Oh, there he is. Oh. He was being very loud down there, so I want to show people that it's not me making weird noises. Oh, It's I, my dog. I don't breathing. think anybody would know. Okay. I don't think anybody. Look at that cute dog. Oh, it's my real life battle pug. Also, I want you to read battle pug. <laughs> I'm putting together four by four K legs for my comics. While I listen, how long is this going to take me? Wait, don't you do that every week? Or is it somebody different? No, it's somebody week? different every week. <laughs> oh, it's a joke now. I gotcha. Uh, I don't think it's a joke. IDW TMNT hardcover. Yes or no? Buy or pass? Absolutely buy it. It's my favorite. Fable it. Fable it. Uncanny Omar Talk Pretty one day. It's my favorite incarnation of the Turtles. I love it. It's great. It surpasses the movies. Yes, even the one with Vanilla Ice. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go. Uh, it surpasses the original animated show, the 2013 animated show. It surpasses the original really? comics. Don't tell Eastman and Laird I said that. I love it. Wait, wait. But Eastman is actually one of the writers, so it's okay to say that. It's so good. I tried reading Jim and the Holograms. It's right next to the Turtles. And I couldn't get into it. How and dare I really you? That is I love Thompson. them in the holograms. Oh, Kelly I Thompson tried. and I Sophie Campbell. To, but I just, I didn't get into the characters. And then I showed the girls the intro to Jim and the Holograms and some of the songs. I'm like, oh, oh, I don't remember it like this. this I don't think I good. like where this is going. <laughs> uh, at this moment, I just want to remind everybody to hit the like button, please. It does help with our YouTube algorithm and help our channel keep growing. So it can show up on other people's feeds. And they're like, hey, what is this? Click. The last Ronin is calling, currently, currently crushing it. Yes, such a good. See, I'm a sucker for those alternate timelines or possible future storylines. Uh, I don't have the Punisher Archie crossover anymore. I sold that many years ago, and I don't think that's ever been collected. There was a Punisher Archie crossover. Yeah, the cover's that's awesome. It's got, it's got the Punisher <laughs> like uh, trying to assassin. You know, like the classic Punisher with the target. It's got uh, Archie's head on the target and Punisher with a gun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't even remember why he was trying to kill him. Wow. What, all right, Maddie, what Omni should 
Uriel Morales read first, Animal Man by Lemire or Swamp Thing New 52, which is the Snyder run? And they have a crossover. So luckily I just read um, Scott Snyder's part of that Swamp Thing New 52. I haven't read Souls yet. Um, but for my opinion, I really think you should read Animal Man first because I think, one, it's fantastic. I think I like it more. But uh, the biggest part is, even though the two are connected, you're going to understand Swamp Thing better if you've read Animal Man first. Like, because you get to a certain point where the Animal Man characters come into Swamp Thing and they don't take the time to really tell you at all or introduce you anything. And you're like, okay, good thing I read this because the I would have no idea. What was it? Rot World storyline? Yeah, the Rot World storyline. But in Animal Man, it didn't, the introduction of Swamp Thing and of Abby Arcane didn't disrupt everything. In my opinion. I think it's a... Uh... I, I think it's one of those that they both stand alone on their own, even though they have that forced crossover. I now have to go. <laughs> okay. Um, bye. Bye, bye. I miss you guys. Bye. Miss you too, kiddo. Uh, Omar, the TMNT books are evergreen, correct? They are evergreen. Art, so and we're going to show off good. a little bit of artwork here. Uh, yeah, so if you would, uh, we'll show our email in a minute. If you would like to ever send artwork or just you know, shoot us an email to chat. So we got some from our buddy Arthur. Here's Nightwing. Look at Nightwing, and look, look, he's he's getting out of his element. He's going, he's going Black Adam there. And I love this here. This is Commissioner Gordon, who looks a lot like Archie Goodwin. Mm -hmm. uh, and I love Archie Goodwin, who passed away. And honestly, Tim Tim Cell, the way Tim Cell drew Archie Goodwin, or drew Commissioner Gordon, was based on Archie Goodwin. And here's his. Uh, Starfire, that's, well, that's a good picture. And his Oswald Copper Pot to Omar, Omar Cheers. Wow. That's a very nice that penguin. That is great. And then we have- so That's is what he's most proud of. That's a good one. I like that he's side-eyeing me. Uh, and then we have some of uh, Joaquin's artwork here. It's very awesome. nice. We've got some black and white. Batman negative. And Batgirl. Oh, wait, here. wait. So I think- that one was when he was 10, and the previous one when he was 14. At like, least that's what it's labeled. He was 14 in 2016? God, I feel old. Uh, and the Batgirl, and then he did one that was colored. Very nice. This is from yeah. jo Joaquin, who's joined me several times. Bye, Novard. Be good, man. Oh, wait. You're, not, you're, you're, you're saying bad. bye, man. <laughs> oh, the email. email. Show What's the email? email good the question. So the email, if you want to email us your artwork, it's nearmancon at gmail.com. And if you want to send us physical art or whatever you want to send us, it's near mint condition, P.O. Box 1678, Versailles, Kentucky, or Versailles, Kentucky, 40383. And those are in the description as well, the video. Yeah. This video. The video. Lots of Starfire side booby there. Yeah, well, you know, when you were young once, right? <laughs> That was a lot. Omar, speaking of Archie crossover, Archie versus Predator is awesome. I haven't read that one. I am um, the brass. I didn't catch the episode where uh, I showed my art that I sent you. Yeah, go ahead and send it send again. It to it, send it and, to us again uh, just to make sure. Uh, I tried to, wait, when we get it, I put it like in the artwork folder um, to keep it separate right from other emails. So, yeah, go ahead and send it again. Omar, do you know Rocky Balboa was a member of G.I. Joe? I know The Fridge was a member of G.I. Joe. I know Sergeant Slaughter was a member of G.I. Joe. So it doesn't surprise me that Rocky <laughs> What? Is this real? The, where did you get this information? Let me know. Omar, there are collected editions that include the transition to Superman to Blue Superman. Also, hit that like button, people. Oh, Thank thanks, you, Jonathan. Jonathan. Uh, there is only one, tra two traits. Uh, I think one is called Transformation, and it was a skinny trait that was mapped horribly. And then there's one that just came out two years ago. It's got Superman Blue, I think it's what it's called. We only got one, and that's it. Um. Rocky was for about three seconds. Three yes. seconds. Did he knock out somebody? Hot Rod was a G.I. Joe? Actually, that might be true. Hot Rod was a G.I. Joe because of that crossover or that ending in the tra Transformer Season 3 where they become human. And it turns what? out to be Cobra Commander at the end. Mm. It's true. They almost made a figure. I love that you guys know this. I didn't know that. Really? I love Rocky. How did I not know that? Side boob is Starfire's superpower. New Spooey Channel has a 
Interesting comment. I remember in the 90s, a retailer was arrested for selling death, the high cost of living, as it was viewed as obscene in their hometown. And the CBLDF, which I don't know what that is, stepped in. Comic, Comic book, book legal defense. Uh, what was controversial about it? I don't the high cost, the high cost of living, because a character was contemplating suicide. <sighs> Is that was the, that what? It well, would no. Be? <sighs> yes, that or uh, I can't remember if it was the time of your life that had the trans character, and I don't. He remember. was in Sandman as well. Yeah, but I guess death by that I time was you. so popular. I would think it was the suicide. You, you, you got you got to think too. Like back then, things in the nineties, things were con everything was controversial. Yeah. North Star coming out as gay was controversial. Uh, so it could have been something small. Like I, like I said, I think maybe the trans character and people in small towns weren't ready for something like that. I can kind of see that. That makes me mad. Um, and I said your name correctly. New Spooey channel. Thank you, Comics Pop. What's up, Comic Pop? How you doing? Is this Sal? It dealt with AIDS. It dealt with AIDS. They did. <sighs> but so did Peter David's Hulk also had that one issue, but that was what, 1990? Man, that's a. I guess the comic world, comic book world in the 90s was not prepared for that. Serious question. Why does it take five months to receive a book from CGN when the books I purchase are listed as in stock? Trying to figure out the shipping part of buying Omnis. Uh, seriously? Um, uh, it, it depends if it's scout. If you've ordered books and they're in stock and they've had to do one like special order. So that, that sometimes slow down your books. Okay. Yeah. 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 Look, uh, advice to avoid AIDS was seen as promoting sex because, um, she was teaching how that's to it. condom on a banana that, yeah, yes, that was it. that's it. Uh, uh, so there's uh. your controversial, the comic book or small towns were not ready for that kind of stuff. And since comics were still seen as geared towards children, it's why they probably decided to uh, stand up. I mean, but like I said, in the 90s and, and in the 80s, things got ridiculous when it came to people, uh, you know, accepting comic books as a medium for that are not just for kids. We need a, a comic pop and near mint team up. We've had one in the past and uh, it was a lot of fun. Sal, I love Sal. He's such a good, knowledgeable dude. Like, uh, so I, yeah, I'd be happy to do that again. I'll reach out to him. That was a lot of fun. We did that last last year, I think. Uh, Omar, any news on Spawn Compendium Volume 2? I believe December is when that is coming out. By the way, I always uh, add the restock dates to the description of the video. So Very end. It's long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Michael. Show's going great. You too. Yeah, much love to you, man, and your channel. Much love to come. Yeah, thanks well. for joining. Sal's Sal, Sal good people. Someone send everybody in that small town a copy of Death Absolutely. High Cost of Living. <laughs> I'm not spending any money Things on that Things can be town. different, right? Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Uh, growth and change. and, and Things can be more acceptable. <laughs> Call the <laughs> man. Bring out the pitchforks. <laughs> it didn't take much back then. Everything was controversial. There was a PSA, too. Uh, about Wasn't the Death John Constantine PSA a promotional comic? I think it was an ad. There was an ad too. Oh no, there was. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, Cause that is collected in the absolute death. You know what? But I'm sure that did help lots of people, even though it was banned, maybe even more because then you'd want you to get your hands on one. <laughs> and then the message would reach you. I will, I will say that these comics and what people didn't realize when they stood up against these comics, and I promise I'm going to get to this answer really quick uh, is how much it helped people, how much Sandman, how much death, a, a comic book called death, help people because i remember uh neil gaiman That's like the post i made this week yeah about dog man well i remember neil gaiman talking about being approached by fans talking about that a ironically a comic book like death helped people deal with depression and suicidal thoughts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and just like he never thought about that he never he was just writing a oh, story right and it wasn't right. until he started going to conventions like big book conventions how much people would walk up to him and thank him for giving them a reason to live and he was and he never thought about that and i think that's beautiful so with these ridiculous mentalities that people have about canceling these books it means something so much more uh to to other people um do you think we'll ever we'll get our first black panther with film releasing next year aaron i got we're gonna get more than one and that's all i can say 
for now. You'll be um, very happy. Good. Just to, to go off what you're saying, um, if you didn't see the post about Dogman, which is an awesome comic, and apparently like outsold all comics this month, you said. Dogman's selling uh, chicken butt, man. <laughs> I watched, uh, reading it with my um, nine-year-old daughter. And uh, just the, the, the lesson at the end of one of them, I can't remember which volume. I was like, that really is great advice for me. And so I was posting about how like, you never, the author, you know, I'm sure he, he knows he helps people, but you never know. He'll never know they he helped me individually. Right. He may, he could so, be watching yeah, right now. Watch right now. Um, and that's what, you know, I want to remind people that you do that. There's somebody in your life that you've helped and you don't know. So I think that's really cool. Uh, Omar, can we donate our old books to you once we've updated our versions? I'm getting rid of my trade paperbacks when I buy an Omni. Yeah, absolutely. For uh, the giveaway, 50000 Yeah, for our uh, next giveaway. giveaway. People have donated a lot of stuff. Here's our P.O. Box, the Human Condition P.O. Box 1678 Versailles, Kentucky. Versailles, Kentucky, 40383. And I found that there is a random comment uh, generator picker thingy on StreamYard, so we don't have to sit there and count the comics. Comments. Make it a little bit easier for everybody. <laughs> I need to, need to try it out first, huh? Uh, All right. So we got some really good questions here. Omar, give me your best Milo Manara. Milo. <laughs> I thought you were talking about the dude from Heroes. You're talking about Milo Manara, the artist. Uh, if there's any hope for a Marvel Masterwork Spider Woman Volume 3. Do it. Well, do it. I mean, there's always hopes. I can't, I can't do that on the air. That's for the after hours show. Good morning. <laughs> What's up, buddy? What's up, Carl? How are you doing? Versailles Inferno. Thanks, Shonda Sook. This is why I made you a moderator. <laughs> Ooh, I dropped in at the right time. More than one Black Panther on the take my shekels. Hey, we'll say, is that from uh, Rick and Morty? Uh, so, yes. Uh, I can't say anything yet, but I'm pr Yeah, there will be more than one. And I think a lot of people are going to be really happy. They got, they got, they got to make up right for the lack of none when the first one dropped. So we got it. Omar have would have a pose. dislocated his spine to do a. Oh, that pose! I can do that pose genuinely, right? I tried it. No human being can do that. No, I did it. I mean, okay, not as curved, but I did it. What? What? What did I do then? You don't remember. You don't care. Moving on. I, can we not talk about how flexible you are on the air while this is the Saturday morning show, please? You're, you're, or for that matter, ever in on way. the internet? You're interpreting it incorrectly. When I think Sorry. of Minara, there's only one way to interpret poses. Well, I don't because I don't know it people's name. It could be names. Kitty Pride washing dishes, and I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> what is how she is she so like, flexible? <laughs> anyway, where was I? Uh, wasn't it Schmeckles on Rick and Morty? Yeah, I remember the Shekels are real. Is <laughs> there a real money? No noise in, in the silly words in Rick and Morty? I'm so hyped for that reprint of Onslaught Omnibus, the M variant. Yeah, you want to see it? I've got it down here. Can you get it, baby? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Somebody's asking what's behind us. I don't know. All right, Griffith? Griffith or... He's cute. Uh, this is Giganto... Oh, my gut sword. Giganto Maxis? Maxia? Uh, the Heroes Reborn Omnibus. It's got the Fantastic Four on the cover. Uh, this was his other manga, which was very similar to uh, Attack on Titan, but it was he wanted to take a break from Berserk to do oh, it. Here we go. So, yeah. You know, flipping through Berserk to get my top ten cute moments, I might follow Griffith if I was in that world, even though he's really femto. Why? Because he's cute. I love how he no no, no spoilers. No. Okay. Omar is like it's not the time and place. Uh, okay, so. Love this cover. This is the so when they did Heroes Reborn, uh, they they only had one cover, but this is the cover they're using uh, for the direct market. So we're getting a direct market cover, and it's the Jim Lee Fantastic Four. And they, look, this does not count as one of the Black Panther Omnis I was talking about. This is just Black Panther on a cover. You want to Love it. And this is by Jim Lee. The side in the back. So this is what the side looks like. It's got Cap and Bucky. Also by Jim Lee. Bucky and then this Brett Booth piece of art back here. I haven't opened it. I just got it in a couple days ago. So I'll be doing an advanced overview of that on the channel. Wanted, but I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek. Um, let me get to you guys. You're great. You're, You're great. great. Timmy has sent, has sent an email 
Okay. Do you think they will ever bring our, our sites like CGN, IST, DCBS in Canada? I think it's everybody's dream that has sites like that here in America to go international. It's just shipping is so expensive. Enjoying the stream as always. Thank you, The Promise One. Do you know when Dawn of X 8 will get a reprint and any hopes for an Avengers Press Omni reprint? I think the Busick uh, Perez was voted in our top 20. Uh, I sent that list over to David, and hopefully they'll, they'll be reprinted. And when he comes back from vacation, I'm going to ask him about that Dawn of X because somebody emailed me how much they're going for in the aftermarket. And you, you, if you've got the money, more power to you. I'm not telling you how to spend your money, but if you've got $216 for a trade paperback. Wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. You really want to read that story. Um, so I'm going to see about uh, – because they don't really reprint trades, but that is so popular. And honestly, since I don't see a, an omnibus of that happening at least for the next year or so. I forgot what I was going to say. Mitchell has a super chat, too. I get him. Omar, what'd what you do with Sugar, Sugar Man? Man? Where's Sugar Man? Sugar Man's missing. Sugar Man's slacking. He's sleeping in this He's morning. sleeping in. Oh, the 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 promised one does the timestamps for the videos. No, Final Shadow does. Final Shadow. Oops, mm -hmm. sorry. It's okay. Thank you, Final Shadow. Final Shadow's good people. Well, shout out to you, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I went ahead and got the Silver Surfer Omnibus, the fixed version, though it has thin pages. Will the new restock and reprint have thicker pages, you think? That's something I've been asked about, about future reprints, and are they going to still use the Turkish printer? But they used it for Man-Thing, and... Freaking man thing, the new printing is thicker than my original printing. Um, I don't, and the and the use then the paper quality feels thicker, and it's still the iMac printer. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know what that means. Uh, is there any way to ensure omnis and single issues? Is that if so, what do you rec? Uh, how do thank you recommend, you, Mitchell. Mitchell? Thank you so much. It depends on your. Okay, so there's two places. Um, I really need to start that that thing uh going to convention my buddy my co-host dan and i were joking about the idea of uh, selling insurance uh collector's insurance at conventions setting up a booth at a convention and selling uh a dish, uh collector's insurance and i'm like we can make a kitty come on man we'll sit next to the cgc table <laughs> yeah people get their books boxed in like we could sell imaginary insurance no you can get um Depending on your provider, your insurance provider, and your policy, you can get additional insurance. Uh, thank you, baby. Our kids are murdering each other upstairs. Uh, but you can get additional insurance as part of your policy uh, to to uh, add things like collectibles. And there's also third-party providers too. Um, I can't remember some of the names. Maybe I'll reach out to some to see. Uh, if I can use them as reference, because people keep asking me and it's honestly a why it's a wise thing because you never know. I, you know, you don't want to ever think about somebody breaking into your house or a house fire or anything like that, or your kids uh, knocking Stop something me. electrical down and then starting a fire. But yeah, absolutely. Um, I think that's a, that's a really good question. <laughs> Lydia, and their uncle is here. So that's why they're up there just running amok. Hey Omar, how's DC reprints department? Like say Gail Simone's wonder woman sporadic i've emailed them by the way um again i emailed my contact over there and still nothing uh no no reply so but like i said i don't give up we'll see what happens <sighs> we'll see what happens buying comic in vietnam is hard do you have any advice do you guys um you use amazon over there or a third-party shipper that can like there are third-party shippers mm, that mm -hmm. you can buy in bulk here in America that will ship you uh, things that you buy here in America all at once. I know some of my viewers from England and some of my viewers from the from uh, Australia have used them. Mm -hmm. No, the girls aren't even fighting. They just stomp when they walk around the house. <laughs> Reading Berserk. Oh, I oh, love okay. your uh, deadly class picture, man. Uh, Reading Berserk is so amazing. Bought the first deluxe edition. I'm glad you're enjoying it already. It's, uh, it's my favorite manga of all time. and. Miss those characters already. Omar, I really need to get collectibles insurance. I have comics from the 40s wow. and 50s and 60s to current day. Yeah, you do, man. Wow. You do. You do. What's up, William? How you doing, buddy? Thanks, William. Hey, guys, you're my favorite Saturday morning show since Muppet Babies in the yes! 80s. Yes! I'm Muppet Skeeter. You're Scooter. Babies. No, I'm not. No, you're Skeeter. I'm yeah. Scooter. You're the one that died. Uh. I live to be in the Muppets. 
Uh, I asked one of the creators about that. I I'm liked like, Gonzo. He was my favorite. Of course you do. Because he's weird. Actually, my favorite was always, uh, what's his name? Animal. He was cool. Um, he was cute. Nobody ever said nanny. The... <laughs> Then they added a penguin in the new one. Anyway, um, I asked one of the creators what happened to Skeeter. He was like, that's a weird question. Why would you ask me that? Like, that is, no. She's not in Muppets. And he because he didn't remember the character. Remember we saw uh, him? Yeah, yeah, he yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. oh, the girl. Yeah. I'm like, maybe you should write a comic about the story of what happened to Skeeter between Muppet Babies and Muppets. Like she she went down a dark path and she couldn't recover. You know. What did he say? He said, no. That sounds like a horrible <laughs> idea. All right. Wait, hey, wait. Guys. He's, yeah, he's got a question. Showing my Omar, do you think Moon Knight Omni is doing well enough to bring us a volume two? Maybe. That's all I can say right now, since you paid a super chat for that wonderful question. But all I can say is maybe. Strong maybe. Leaning more towards yes. Go buy Moon Knight, everybody. Omar, the new printing of Silver Surfer Omnibus, will there be a DM Ribbit cover as well? Yes. Uh, it will be the Ribbit cover of Spider-Man because it's it's a direct reprint of the latest uh, book uh, that came out twice last year with the corrected printing. Until Tales of Muppet, you get Kurt Music to write it, man. Is it suggesting Midtown Comics might be a good place for international orders? Midtown Comics does uh, ship overseas. As, so does Reed Comics, too. Mm -hmm. Omar, with Spidey's 60th anniversary in 2022, we will get a bunch of new Spidey Omnis. I think so. I think so. Let's go up to... Ooh, good question. Omar, any chance for that last Thor OHC? I'll remind them. I th There is a strong chance of that. Uh, wrapping up Jason Aaron's run. I'm Nebraska. You want to give us money? <laughs> uh, you you don't have... A, it's a... You can super chat. You hit the super chat button on... Uh, I guess when you're where you type to post a comment, I can't remember what it looks like, but there should be some that says super chat. Um, and you click that, write your message, and you pick the the amount of money. Um, yeah, so thank you. That's how you do it. Is uh, Omar, is there anything like a black label for Marvel? There was a max line, uh, that was out of continuity. Uh, there so. I don't think they do. They do. They do any more of those. They don't do any more of those. There was the ultimate line, which is also out of continuity. Um, no, not really. The recent what if? I think they did uh, a what if? What was it? The uh, Death Spider. So there's that. Um. Oh, I see it. <laughs> Good, you found it. There's an icon with the dollar, dollar, dollar symbol. Uh, was hesitant. Thank you for the super chat, Gabriel. Was hesitant on New Warriors Omni, but finally read it. Is as good as you said it was. Belongs on everyone's shelves. Oh, you're welcome. And we got a volume two coming, man. David made fun of me. He's like, now, what did he say? <laughs> I can't believe you cried. I'm like, dude, dude I've been waiting years. <laughs> it, was, it meant a lot to me. Why is Dawn of X $216, right? It's because it's out of print. And people, people that, and here's the thing that a lot of people, I'm not hating on flippers. I'm, I'm not saying, but the way it works is if you're willing to pay money, then people selling the things are willing to go up in price. And the more they see it go up in price and people will look at uh, completed listings, they're going to be like, huh, that book is selling for 200. I bet I could sell it for $215. And people still buy it. So supply and demand, right? It's all part of the game. Omar, will Marvel announce any more omnibus reprints for 2021? I think they'll we got a bunch, man. We got a bunch. Um, so I don't know if they'll sneak more in or not. It's always a possibility. It is always a possibility. It's cheaper to get the French version for $20 and pay $180 for four hours of French classes. <laughs> oh. Here's the Spider Gwen. Oh, was somebody um, asking somebody about was Spider Gwen? Asking about the spine, right there, Marco. Oh, okay. No, Marco. Marco, hi. Hey, Marco. Uh, do you this know if the Spider one? Gwen Omni has the black or white spine? I hope it's black. It is it's purple. Purple. Now, of course, this is the direct market cover. Um, the the standard edition cover could be different. I need to get on. I need to crack that open and start it's reading it. Actually, I need. It's different. Yeah, I really like this run. I'm hoping that. Mm -hmm. 
um, it does well because it's a good story. I want it fun. Where's Extreme X Men Omnibus? Hello, David Gabriel. Is David here? <laughs> Is David here? Uh, it, no, that's Gabriel Carrasco. So it's different than David Gabriel. Oh, good. That's a great spot. I love that cover. That is the direct market cover. I think that cover is so awesome. Gwen has ballet shoes. Don't tell her that. She paid $38.95 on Amazon for that outfit. <laughs> that was random. 20 to 21, <laughs> everything I like goes out of stock immediately. Comics, gaming consoles. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Graphics graphics cards. But NMC is still here, so I oh. am okay. Oh, thanks, brother. Uh, I think that's part of the whole reprint thing with PRH. Marvel wants to keep more books in print. Because they realize it's selling. And it's not just the madman on YouTube telling them it's selling. They actually see the sales numbers. What's up with War of the Realms, man? Sold out too fast and I'm sad. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. Just look forward for announcements, man. Don't be sad. Omar, will we see a Tom McFarlane DM cover for the Incredible Hulk Omnibus Volume 1 reprint? Yeah, both covers are back. Every one of the covers that I... Or I'm sorry, every one of the books that I announced uh, will be back. Give me one second. Manga recommendations. Oh, good question, Joseph. It really depends on what type of stories you like. If you like samurai stories, go for Blade of the Immortal or Vagabond. Uh, if you like, Con like Conan the Barbarian stories, like Bad A. It's our Saturday chat, sorry. Uh man that cannot you know will never be defeated berserk gets no better than berserk vinland saga is another one that's powerful and great if you like sports go for uh one pound gospel slam dunk eye shield uh if you like romance maison of koku mm -hmm. i'm enjoying asador right now if you would like um the uh slice well no asador is not really slice of life uh, mm -hmm. it, it it's got a, a little bit of fantastical elements in it but that's a really good one. Mm -hmm. Anything by him. Who's yeah. the author? Uh, uh, that is Urasawa. No, Urasawa. Okay. No, okay, Urasawa. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. What? You, <laughs> you did find the money by uh, I really hope you didn't uh, mistype that. You're like, that was supposed to be a dollar. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I found that. We appreciate it, it, it every, super chat. every super chat. Absolutely. Yeah, but... I want you to review my 100% computer animated music video I did with Busy Bone. You did a music video with Busy Bone? It looks like video game cutscene. Took forever to make. Love you guys. Well, mad, mad love back to you, man. But let us know how we can find it. Like, email us. At, uh, here. E email me the link. Uh, near at gmail.com. Yeah, I'd love that's to really check cool. it out. I'd love to check it out. Any lip readers. It didn't take much lip reading for me to be like, I keep it down. You know, I got to use my poppy voice every once in a while. Oh, you did not. And you said, I love you. <laughs> Why are you taking away my street cred? I got street cred. About yelling at your kids? My what? wife. What? Thank you so much again. Omar, someone yeah, asked you. about Amazing Spider-Man Omnibus Volume 2. Amazon has the Ramos cover in stock for 108 if that helps them. Uh, thank you, Great Garlou. It's coming back in a print if they can be patient. So, hey, Omar, Melanie, can you read all new Wolverine by Taylor if you're not well versed in the X Men and still in, enjoy? Yes, 100%. That's what I was going to I say. wanted her to read it, uh, but she's busy reading a lot of other stuff. It, you don't have Summer to know. Summer of Sirens! There's like one book. Um, you oh, well, then I, I need to read more Harley Quinn and okay. Poison Ivy and Catwoman. There you go. Books. You can read some Ed Brubaker Catwoman books. Okay. Absolutely. Can we, what's up, Beard of Their Nation? How you doing, buddy? Can we, thank you for the super chat. Can we please get Omnis that include Bishop's Crossing and Phalanx Covenant? Man, how would you, Phalanx Covenant, I mean, they could reprint it as an omnibus, but I mean, and honestly, put Phalanx Covenant and Legion Quest together, take out the, no, you couldn't. No, 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 you couldn't. Okay. Put Phalanx Covenant and Legion Quest together. Take out the issues of Legion Quest that are already included in Age of Apocalypse. And you got yourself a stew. I got one ready. Don't Your make me use my chonkla. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I've only said it once. They're not, they're just playing upstairs. Uh, oh, Cody Summers is saying, uh, I think Cheap Graphic Novel still has uh, the Ramos cover 
uh, for Amazing Spider-Man Volume 2 for $75. Um, Rebel by Design, that would be great if you could email Rex. I don't have any paper right now. If you want Rex, Melanie. Okay. Melanie is going to ask for emails. Uh, Wait. Never okay. mind. <laughs> okay. okay. And speaking of cheap graphic novels, they are our sponsor for this episode. Don't forget to check them out. CheapGraphicNovels.com. Tell them the American Condition sent you their way. Books up to 50% off. Max is having a Nick and Dent sell soon, and he's got announcements to make next Sunday. We'll be doing a live chat with him about changes coming to uh, cheap graphic novels, including the uh, pre-order. All right, here's a new tagline for Max. He doesn't know it yet. He doesn't know it yet. Cheap graphic novels, a source to fuel your geeky needs. I need to, I need to tweak it. It's a little awkward. He just texted me. <laughs> he said, "Lose." <laughs> He said, lose my number, and he blocked me, because I couldn't even say okay. He blocked me. Thanks. Uh, Would you ever open a physical comic store? My dream, and this is not much of one, but my dream was to open up a bar slash, uh, like, geek uh, museum type of thing. Like, video games, like arcade games and, and comic books, and sell everything there, including beer. That was my that dream. Would, that would, I, I am Nebraska... Links don't show up um, in the in the chat section, so if you could email it um, to nearmakecon at gmail.com. Yeah, and I'm, if you email it to me before the show's over, I'll make sure to share it uh, in the um, in the chat. Oh, you know what? I don't have to use a sandal on the girls because they are well behaved. Yeah, let they're, me tell they're, you, they're, I would if I had to, but I don't. I I look forward to spanking my kids because I got a lot of spankings, and my brother's here, and he can attest I, to that. I, uh, I mean, I have spanked Alicia before, but not for a long time. Yeah. I, I will say that. Uh, oh, Sugar Man's here. My. Uh, oh, Sugar Man has awoken. Okay. He's woke now. Wait, uh, with Lydia, you did. You and This is. I firmly believe this. You give the child a choice or you ask, do you need a spanking to help you snap out of it? Yeah. And what did she say? What? No, you said something like your, your choice. You could choose to do this, or you could choose to receive a spanking. I said you can sit on your bed and stare at the wall, or you can get a spanking as punishment. It's up to you. And she said, I'll stay here and look at the wall. <laughs> I'll take a spanking. I don't know. Let me tell you, if my mom gave me that option oh, when true. I was a they, kid. Uh, nope. no, was... You see my mom's arms? Was... She's an Amazon. She's huge. Like her arms are big. Hey, I remember. Dude, Manuel, yeah. Manuel's here. I remember I used to get so much spankings when I was a kid. Like I would look forward to my brother. Getting spanked never happened. <laughs> never happened. It was always me. And one time, I remember when my brother was getting spanked. I was cheering my mom. I was like, "Yeah, get, get, hit him harder, mom, hit him harder." Manuel, do you remember that? <laughs> oh my gosh! Thank you for this. Thank you for the sticker. super sticker, Jose. Gonna... If you have a question, oh, no. please leave yeah, it. Uh, or... Leave it down below. I'll keep an it's eye out for that up. email too. What's up, Roxanne? How you doing? I like Planet Hollywood, but comics... like Yeah, kind of like Planet Hollywood, but able to sell things there, too. I don't know. It was just something I, I thought about about five years ago. I really wanted to do it. Uh, what is the likelihood of a lone wolf and cub deluxe? I would hope very, very high. I would love very, very high for that to come out. It's one of my most wanted. I need to make that video, actually, my most wanted... Uh, uh, books. Yes, yes, and yes. Do you have this. one painting of Wall <laughs> Wilson, Wilson Fist staring that's at her, her face. That's her villain origin story. She's sitting there, like, uh, looking at it. Uh, this is like that scene in Casino. You can keep the money and lose the hand. And give back the money and get locked. Dude, I love that movie, too. Big Scorsese fan. At the same relationship with my older brother. <laughs> that he would cheer your mom on when you're getting whipped. That's right, man. I would get... My dad... He said it. We, my sister and I, we were yeah. well behaved too. We didn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My my dad things. had a piece of petrified wood. That's how hardcore he was. But even with his piece of petrified wood, my mom with his belt, uh, uh. You know, like when you're a kid, you're like blocking the shots, and, and like you act like your hands broken. Like <laughs> my, my mom, my mom. Let me tell you something. When my mom cried when she was whipping me. That's when I knew it was bad news. That's when I knew she, that woman did not know how to stop. My mom did not know how to stop. And she was crying. I and she can't. was like, <sighs> like, I'm like, mom, please, you broke my head. And she, she's like, and she would cry and just start like maybe praying. I don't remember. I just remember being in, sh in a state of shock. 
Oh, man. My mom skipped the spanking and went straight for the wooden spoon. Mega Shrimps are saying, if people are drinking beer around your collectibles, they won't be in near my condition for long. I'll be, I'll be having That's a big, true. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be having a big bouncer. Welcome to, to the door. Uh, Omar Mel, thanks to you. Thank you so much, uh, Misfit Rick. I watched Gurren Logan as my first full anime and started Berserk a few months ago. First manga. What a start. Oh, that's all. Awesome. Look, you got you got Nosferatu Zod as oh, your picture. Cool. So you must really like Berserk. That's awesome, man. Thank you. Omar, people our age sure had that uh had our share of parental spankings for sure. Almost in and and back then, dude. Let me tell you something. Back then, like my mom and dad didn't care where we were. We were at the grocery store and I would get spanked. We were we were at church and I would get spanked. It didn't matter. Now you don't see that. And I remember the rarity of kids getting spanked in public so much that when I see a kid getting spanked in public, this please don't take this out of context, but it brings a smile to my face. I'm like, <laughs> I swear, I swear, I smile when I see like everybody else that's around them. Why, why is she spanking that? I'm like, what? Uh, and then all the because it brings back memories of how bad of a kid I was. I'm like, you, you spank that kid. You spank that. You and go. Then, and you then go, if mom. you say you're a kid on the chat, he's gonna send you like some Omni. Or he's gonna take it out of. Context. Of course he is. Of course he is. But that's just that's just the god honest uh, truth, man. I love like seeing that brings back so many memories of me getting spanked because it was embarrassing. And if you have a parent that don't care where you are and they still spank you that's a good parent the worst is when my brother held this this child abuse and then got hit a little harder that's awesome i remember telling i remember warning my mom and dad it's the summer of idw sonic that's That's right good one we're getting the first idw complete collection coming out in june uh that's a that's a good idea. Thank you so much, Trombo Gun. How you doing, buddy? I'm going to see my mom and grandma oh, after a year yay. of COVID. Well, stay, have fun. Stay well, healthy, we'll man. Fun. Stay healthy. Much love back to you, brother. Any chance of a Tokyo Ghost Deluxe Edition reprint? We're getting a low reprint, so I'm sure that will come. I'm sure that will come. It's it's Rick Remender. It's oversized hardcover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> new t-shirt idea for near mid public and, and speaking of t-shirts we do have our t-shirts on sale at uh at spread shop if you want to check that out it's a great way to you support can, the channel you can and upload your own t-shirt design and make something silly like that for anything in your life we got conventions coming out you know you can represent represent so when people when you see some when you see another minty out you're gonna be like what's up man what's up you watch that show too don't you that'd be fun somebody at the zoo recognized you a couple years ago yeah they recognized my voice that was awesome Thank you, Mark. Thanks for having Maddie on again. Uh, yeah, we'll tell her thank you. She, you know, she just popped on. Yeah. Um, is there a restock date for X Men Classic Omni, or did I already miss that? No restock date for that. You didn't. Mi- is it out of print? I haven't heard. Out of, I haven't heard about that one. I didn't know it was uh out of print. Sign, <laughs> Sign up for Omar's <laughs> only spec. I have a question related to Jason and Aaron's store reading order. I know I need the complete collection of volumes one through four, but what else should I get? Oh, gosh. That's a good question. I can't remember if the complete collection has... Um, oh, what is it? Hold on just a second. Uh, the Unworthy Thor or not. Because that, to me, is necessary reading, and I know that the hardcovers did not... Uh, by the way, I, I did ask Marvel about reprinting those, and I haven't heard back yet because I know volumes one and two are out of print. So you're going to need Unworthy Thor, and you're going to need the Loki and Thor. Um, what is it? The 10th tenth, tenth Circle? It's the original Sin storyline. So you'll need both of those, which that original Sin storyline is also in the Loki Agent of Asgard, if you want to bypass uh getting the small trade and loki agent of asgard just got a reprint so you know it's funny i thought about reviewing it completely forgetting that we reviewed it mm-hmm. sorry sweet i didn't mean to cut you off okay don't get unworthy thor unworthy thor is collected in the jason aaron complete collection of thor volume four that comes out in october so all you will really need is just that loki and thor story that's in agent of asgard or collected in a trade paperback or part of the hardcover of the uh, OHC's original sin companion. Woo! There's your answer. Hope that satisfied the hunger. 
<laughs> Snickers. Have you guys, uh, you guys are making me uh, crack oh, up this morning. Good, 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 good. I want to represent TM TMZ and MC. That's right. Represent, man. Just don't get arrested with a near mint condition shirt. <laughs> don't, don't do so crazy with it. Don't be spanking your kid in public with a near mint condition shirt. <laughs> Omar said so. Hashtag Omar said I can spank my kid in public. It brings a smile to his face. Omar, do you, Omar do you think there will be? I love the fact that you're skipping volume three. Omar, do you think there will be a, a Wolverine Omnibus Volumes 4 and 5? And after a Volume 3, of course, I'm wondering if there's enough material. Oh, there's plenty of material for 4 and 5. They could go 7, man. Yes, 100%. Uh, I don't know anything about a Wolverine 3, though. Let's hope the sales of Wolverine 2 are in... Um, make, make, make a Volume 3. Unworthy is in Volume 4. We have Volume 3. It's not in Volume 3. Uh, volume 4 will contain it. Somebody wants to see Emmanuel. You could read somebody. Is Emmanuel? Is it himself? No. Did he super chat? Can no, I be on he your said, show? No. He... You could really go without the original sin thing. It's it was met and was more of a story about Angela than anything. Oh gosh, Angela. Manuel, you want to say hi yeah. to the peoples? No, you have to show your face. Uh, I can't. I got. I'm, I'm anonymous. Oh, he, he, he's, he's wanted, he's want, he's in, uh, oh, yeah, he's in the witness protection program. <laughs> yeah. What if the kid getting spanked is wearing, <laughs> all right, if the kid is getting spanked is wearing near mint condition gear, that's what's up. That's what's up. Okay. I'll be happy to, I will. Yes. That's, I, I'm good with that. <laughs> Are you showing your uncle? <laughs> what if he didn't want to be seen? That's not what he looks like. He's not wearing that ridiculous. Street cred would skyrocket with those kids if you put in check. That's right. Any thoughts on Kate and Ram uh, viewing, teasing new Marvel projects? Yeah, I talked about that a little bit earlier. I don't know what it is, but I seriously doubt that it, it would be anything with, uh, what's his name, Brian Hitch, because Brian Hitch can hardly do a freaking uh, monthly series. I can't imagine him doing a monthly series with JSA also being a monthly series. So. The child will not be wearing a near mint condition. No, will not after, be in near mint condition after. After spake, no. Where'd you, look? Omar? What's the NMC uh, we sign? We throw up uh, to identify our own. The NMC, baby, do the stay minty. But then, yeah, the peace sign. You have yes. to say something. You gotta go. Hey, that's like try again. No, it's we'll, like that's we'll, just we'll, we'll come up. We'll come up with something that doesn't get you arrested or or made fun of by your peers. Mark. Ram V's, yeah, they've been teasing something for the last week. Donnie Kate said he wants to go ahead and reveal it with or without Marvel's permission next week. Now I want empanadas. Oh, Meow Nyan's asking what's the best empan empanada filling. I'm hungry. Pork, baby. One. Pork. Yeah. All the way. Uh, Omar, just finished House and Powers of X. I'm about to get into Dawn of X trades. Are there any X books not collected in these trades worth reading? Juggernaut, which is freaking awesome. Uh, and you'll need the Fantastic Four X-Men crossover. It's really my strong suggestions that are not, those are not collected in there. All that's missing now is a secret NMC handshake. That's right. That'd be cool. <laughs> Just throw up a peace sign after spanking them kitties. <laughs> yeah, that's no, probably not a good look, huh? Oh, probably Ari a has look. a question about the origin meaning behind Good Journey. That's from he. Masters that's from of Masters the universe, of the maybe. Universe, yeah. yeah. And Amanda really, she had never seen it. And that's the way that she was like, okay. I really like that. Let's let's use that. And I'm like, I, I, I it's don't a think. Cool don't, yeah, saying he might be the. You know, thing my buddy, movie. my buddy Ben, um, his brother passed away um, two years ago, and at the funeral, Ben gave a speech, and he said, "You know, we don't say goodbye in this house. We say good journey." I thought that was a really beautiful because Masters of the Universe was like their favorite movie. They grew up watching He Man, and they watched the movie, and so I thought that was a beautiful send off to his brother. What kind of mint is near mint condition? Spearmint, peppermint, fresh mint. I, I don't know, man. That's a good question. <laughs> We're late. We don't I got have no an cinnamon. Answer. It's still worth worth reading all of Amazing Spider Man in twenty twenty one. You know, I think Nick Spencer has some really good uh, plot ideas. Um, however, the <laughs> you have to be a fan of dialogue. It is some heavy reading. Um. I kind of wish he had done something similar to his uh, Lethal Foes of Spider-Man or Deadly Foes of Spider-Man, but uh, I don't know. It just – is it worth reading? Yeah, absolutely, especially if you're a Spider-Man completist. 
one hundred percent. Um, but it, it, it's really up to you. That's all I can say. I'm sure there's going to be an omnibus collected one day. By the way, we have um, just making sure we have his name, Charlie Brasco's name. Uh, this is his movie right here, and I'll be putting this in the comment sections too that he wanted us to check out. That should show up, especially if it's yeah, from there us. There you go. So yeah, it showed up. Cool. Right there. There yeah. it is. So everybody go check it out. Give him show him some love. Let him know what you think. Leave the comments down below. Dearest Omar. Oh, I had you and I lost it. Dearest Omar, is Fantastic Four by Hickman a good jumping on point? Yep, it is. Uh Amanda, that was Amanda's first Fantastic Four. It was Maddie's first Fantastic Four, and they both really loved it. So absolutely it is. You don't know Donnie Brasco, man. This is Charlie Brasco, his long lost brother. Thanks, guys. I'm humbled. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, Sorry it took a while to get it back. It we'll definitely check it out. Beastmaster over. No! Manuel, you remember when we saw Beastmaster in Chicago and you were like, that's not him? And I was like, dude, that's Beast. And we could not remember the actor's name, which is Mark Singer, right? And that's my a, brother would not I was believe tell me. Sorry if you didn't. My brother would not believe me that it was the Beastmaster. And I could not remember his name. And I got caught in what, like deer in headlights. And I was like, as he was getting into a taxi, I yelled out, Beastmaster! And he looked back and went like that. And I was like, I told you, you idiot! And he drove away. And then I remember, oh, it's Mark Singer. Whoops, probably should have yelled out oh, Mark Singer. Oh, that's more fun. Remember that one con you yelled out the window at Kevin Smith when he's walking on the sidewalk? You're like, yeah, I told that story. And, and then everybody started like, what? What? And people on the sidewalk going up to him. <laughs> Seems like people are starting to jump off Spencer Spidey at the beginning of 2021, especially when the new suit was announced. It's ups and downs with me. I like, you know, I like the fact that he's playing the long game. We don't have a lot of writers doing that these days because they don't know how long they're going to be on a title. It feels like Nick Spencer thought, hey, I'm going to be here for a while. So let's go ahead and play the long game, like introducing us to Kindred. Uh, I really like the, 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 what happened at the very end of the last volume. What was that, volume 12? Yeah. That gives me a lot of hope for some happier times. Just What's up, more, buddy? Yeah, uh, spotted Amazon listing for a new print of Rise and Fall of the Shi'ar Empire for November. Does that sound right? Hadn't seen a solicit. One of the last few I need for the Inerid Cosmic. <laughs> uh, yes, they, we're going to get one. I think it was in the last solicitation or it's in the new one. Yes, but we're definitely going to get one. Absolutely. It's coming. What is the book with Spider-Man and Mickey Mouse? Um, this. Oh, oh, that. Oh. This was a... I um, was thinking... Like it was something. This was old. a gift from Marvel, but it's a San Diego comic D23. That's what it was. Uh, you can only get it at D23. And it's just the. I don't think it's ever been collected. So this was a gift from Marvel a couple of years ago. And it's just a, a special cover. They, they, they did other covers, but this is the D23 cover. Can't remember what's in here. It's the Marvel Comics 1000. I'm sorry. Marvel Comics 1000. Um, when are you doing the Spider Gwen overview? Do you know? Uh, next week. This week will be uh, Age of Apocalypse. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, Love Michael you guys and the channel. How did you find so much time to read, and what is your reading routine? Good to know for someone trying to find time. It's but, difficult for me, it, but this isn't my job, so I I don't have as much time. I love reading, so... And you can read fast. And I can read fast, and I've read... I read, a, I read a lot. So one of the things I have to do is uh, I wait for my kids to go to sleep. It's helped a lot. My kids have been in school, virtual school. Um, yeah. Because I also have to give, I also have to give myself some time to, to uh, record a video, edit the video. And that process takes a long time. My upcoming collected editions video, that whole process is like a 14 hour project, finding the details, finding, and, and then still, and it's still off because as soon as I do the video, the dates will change. And people always remind me of that. By the way, uh, that video sh will be dropping sometime today for our Patreons and then tomorrow for everybody. Um, and on Patreon, there's I do the written documentation, break it down month by month. Of and that's the dollar up. tier? That's the dollar tier, yeah. And then $5 tiers for early access to videos. Yep. We have a one-on-one -on -one vid uh, tier that I'm going to open up a couple more slots. This oh, you are? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be in charge of scheduling now. Yeah, my wife is completely in charge so of scheduling. You got to earn that money. Huh? 
why is it called Spider Gen? It's called oh, uh, Spider. Why is Spider Gwen, Gwen called, called Spider Ghost Spider now? Because Spider Gwen isn't a really good code name, good alias to have when you're a yeah. superhero. I kind of I dig Ghost Spider. I think it's a good good name. It makes sense good at first, right? Like just people know it's Gwen Stacy, like a right. selling point. Um, yeah, I, I I highlight his comment. Wave. Yep. Already, Omar. Oh, you, you did. Say home. I, I just haven't home. seen my buddy Omar Reyes in a while, man. You're not allowed to say hi. Ooh, my hair smells good. Wait, what does Tara Glitch have at eBay's for around a thousand dollars? Yeah, I was thinking that too. What you got? We gotta buy a house. So I gotta start selling. I'm selling, selling a bunch of stuff. Omar, what's your take on TMNT Classics trade paperback from IDW? My take is that I wish they would keep printing them, but they're out of print. And on top of that, they discontinued the line. I would love for them to to, to collect, <laughs> keep collecting those. Hey, Omar, thoughts on Amazing Spider-Man Volume One and Fear Agent reprints? Uh, Fear Agent's gonna be a while. Because they don't have the rights to the library editions that was print that, that were printed by Dark Horse, so Rick Remender himself said it's going to be some time before they can do that. Uh, as far as Amazing Spider-Man Volume One, very strong chance since it was voted in our top twenty. So there's a very strong chance. Speaking of Mark Singer, I realized I re re realized recently that V had an eighteen issue oh. series. Yeah, I used to have those when I was a kid. I loved V. V was so awesome. I look. I used to have the trading cards of V. Omar, was it true that Hickman Omni is getting more issues of Swords of X? Yes, it's true. But nothing is set in stone yet. So we don't know 100% yet what is everything. So, Oh, there's my buddy Canadian Invincible Comics. Hi. Rate this show, man. Rate this show. What would you give this show out of 10, buddy? I love this guy's rating system because he's so so detailed. 9.8543. Oh, right. Like four, uh, three, your two, shows with Amanda? Yeah, he always gets on. I'm like, I'm going to rate this. Uh... Omar, if you ever if you ever want to get rid of Bendis' work... <laughs> There is some home that is willing to take those. I got rid of most Bye, of my Bendis. I gave away a bunch of my Bendis. I gave away a bunch of my uh, Bendis stuff already uh, for for the contest. When we hit when we hit fifty thousand, I've got I've got a lot more Omnis to give away too. So yeah, you guys have been wonderful. Oh, thank you. Nine point nine six seven. I'm gonna ban him for not giving me a ten point five. Come on now. Hey, um, wait, yeah, th this comment right here, Novarg. Mm -hmm. When in your symbiote persona, Mel, you should talk in third person. That's really creepy. I do it all the time. It freaks people out. That is a great idea. And how fun is that? Oh, I remember in eighth grade, I wore black lipstick to a family reunion. And my pet ball made fun of me. I was trying to be like cool. And he's like, what, did you eat too many blackberries? I was like, no, pet ball. <laughs> and I was going to talk with a British accent the whole time. Oh, those were the days. No, those still are the days. We are Melanie. Yeah. <laughs> Smash that like we, Thank no, you, wait a Samuel. second. We are ruination. We are ruination. Oh, I'm gonna make my wife <laughs> crack. It's fun. Okay, it makes baby. life more okay. interesting. Okay, I know. You're just jealous. I'm just jealous. Uh is it a good idea to read all of Amazing Spider-Man from 1962 <gasps> to 2021? Wow. And how long will it take? <laughs> okay, I can It'll answer the forever. first part. The second part, it depends on how fast <laughs> you can read, brother. And if you're like my brother and skip those caption boxes, <laughs> my brother was like, I don't read those yellow boxes. And I was like, but that's part of the story. How can you know what these characters are thinking or feeling or, or what's going on? And he, and he does, I mean, he was right. He was ahead of his time. Cause they don't really do narration boxes anymore. You just follow the picture. He was right. I'm the idiot. Uh, <laughs> as far as like reading amazing Spider-Man from 1962 <laughs> to 2021. Absolutely. I think it's, um, if you, if you like, uh, you know, reading everything from the beginning, 100%. Do you need to? No, not at all. There's some great jumping on points, which I'm going to start that segment sometime next month. What okay, I'll, best, write it, I'll write it down. Best ways to, um, <laughs> Don't forget. Uh, best ways to, to get into a character. I haven't decided on what that, my buddy Dean gave me some good ideas, what to call it. So, uh, hey, Omar, loving the live. Much love back to you, man. I was wondering if all your Omnis, which would you say is your favorite right now? Uh, that depends, you know, that changes. But for me, my favorite omnibus of all time is Uncanny X-Men Volume 3. Volume 1 has a special place in my heart because that's signed by some people, some creators that are no longer with us. But Volume 3 has my favorite stories. Uh, what I'm currently enjoying right now is the Aliens Omnibus. Uh, but I'm, I moved on from that. And I'm, in, I'm reading some of uh, the, oh, gosh, what is that? Uh, oh, uh, Age of Apocalypse. Uh Mine is Astonishing X-Men, which I suppose isn't uh, <laughs> a uh, surprise since I'm Astonishing Melanie. 
And uh, yeah, I just like the it. It's such a satisfying feeling after reading it. Um, just like with Sandman, man, it was <laughs> um, satisfying. Which one? The Warlord. Yeah. Warlord Omni Omar, make it happen. I wish office. I could make that happen. I want that too. Oh, I miss Leo too. Types of logic. He only likes Amanda though. So yeah, Leo loves. No, Amanda. he really is into movies. Movies, he likes movies right? Aspects. Not not so much yeah. comics. Which That's is, why he's not on this yeah. live. He did. He used to come on our live, and then we didn't answer his Q and A. Uh, Omar, <laughs> what's the best place to start with Deadpool without wording? Go to uh, Joe Kelly's run on Deadpool. So it would be uh, the Deadpool. Oh, what is that? Deadpool Classics, I think. That one. Oh no, Deadpool by Joe Kelly Omnibus. Is that the one in the TV room? No, it's not Omnibus. That's not on this. Omar, does Marvel now have access to PRH printers since the mass reprints at the end of the year? I think it's a change. I think it's going to be easier for them to reprint books, perhaps. I, I really don't. Somebody asked me that earlier, and I really don't have the exact answer for that. I just have my thoughts on it. And I think it will be easier for them, but could mean more print, more reprints. So, yeah, we'll see. Sugar Man, we're not reading your Q&A. You got too much hype already. People ask where you are when you're not in the chat. You're good to go. <laughs> are, are you using your teacher voice on Sugar Man? Okay. Billy Dollars is saying the Brasco featuring Busy Bone is 100% lit. So that's the one we Oh, check is that out. what that means? I mean, I, I would I understand the concept. I just didn't know the phrase. Oh, my gosh. No, and I need to because I Are you reading the Chip Zdarsky series with of Daredevil? The, the, the first volume. Yeah. Printing isn't the hard part. Storage is. 100%. That's the problem. Is you're limited to the amount of space. Are the boys omnibus coming in 2021? I can't make a formal announcement, but I'm sure that they will come. But oh, you didn't change the name. To what? Oh, um, I'm sorry. You, okay. you surprised me with your hair. I'm surprised Deadpool by Joe Kelly has not been reprinted yet. Also, Secret Warriors omnibus as well. I love that you snuck that in there, End Man 40. Like... <laughs> you're like wait and also secret warriors yeah i'm surprised secret warriors didn't get voted in the top 20 i really thought that was a most wanted omnibus um uh, as far as deadpool I, I guess he's lost his steam i remember one time there were like three deadpool series with the marvel team up and all that stuff so i don't know okay it's one o'clock daredevil has a hilarious amount of great runs yes <gasps> it is ridiculous <sighs> if only we could get a tardis bookcase. tardis bookcase will be oh released in time for Christmas. Right, so you're meaning as in like more room on the inside. That we That's what we need. We need more room on the inside. Because need... there's no place to put my another... new figure collection. I'm going to start, but I where just... am I going to put it? I, I mean, just need to move a house. There's no place. I'm going to put it in know. the bathroom, put shelves in the bathroom. Maybe that's what I'll do. How about that? Fear Agent is my favorite Rick Remender work. It's To me, okay. it's his magnum opus. I don't care for Deadpool. He's okay. Only when Fabian Nicesa was writing it. We were going to get the Fantastic Four by Volume uh, <laughs> volume 2 by uh, John Byrne. Don't know, man. Up to Marvel. Um, Wait, I read Deadpool this week. King Deadpool, Kelly Thompson. Oh, I love Which that. I like Kelly Thompson. It was a fun story. I, I'm not, so I don't King think I'm going to finish it. Yeah, uh, but I'm not, I don't think I'm going to finish it. I just, it was fun. And then I felt like I was forcing myself to read. So, I mean, okay. that's just me. Hey, Omar, do you think we'll ever see a reprint of Extinction Agenda? I don't particularly like the idea of New Mutants Volume 4 between X-Men and Jim Lee's Volume 1 and 2 as per your end near, uh, New Mutants uh, Map My X. <sighs> so I think the only way that could be done as an omnibus, because they don't really reprint OHCs, I would say put it together with either Shattershot or Bishop's Crossing. That would be my That would be my guess. And then make it an omnibus. Has yet Deadpool extended beyond 80 books? Dracula's Gauntlet as a volume 81. Wow. Yeah, that's and those those has yet books are beautiful when you have them on a shelf because they make a big uh, collage picture. Yeah, Omar, um, look at Gideon. Somebody remember. posted in Discord. Uh, Omar, when's the updated manga collection? Uh, yeah, the manga collection will be sometime this year. I need to do. I'll do an updated tour of my book sometime this year, and the manga collection I promise will come. And it will be the last time we record in this house for that. And then next time, next year, we'll be in our new house that we've been trying to get for the last <sighs> long six years. Um, how much would it cost Marvel to add a hollow foil comic strip, uh, hypothetically, to Phalanx Covenant, Covenant um, Omnibus? I don't know. But can you imagine if they ever do a Wolverine Volume 3 with a die cut cover as the direct market variant? People would lose it. I don't know. 
I don't know if they want to go down that route. Because if I if we open up that rabbit hole, you know what that means. Hayden, that's who did. Hayden posted in Discord the our uh, Patreon Discord the spines from any of the Hatchet Deadpool books. Yeah, it was amazing. So we do have a Discord. Um, I think we're gonna start the dollar tier access to some, and the five dollar tier access to a lot of other things. My wife's in charge of that. Yes, the die cut and lenticular. Well, we've already had a uh, the DC villains. The very first printing of that had that like chromium cover, so it is possible. Let me get a piece of paper right down. Okay, five more questions. All right, down to do that. All right. Um, whoa, hey, I'm so down with the Chromium Gen X omnibus. That's right. Monster Size Pizza Hut X Men Edition. <laughs> Will it happen? Let's get some Monster Size swim Marvel swimsuit editions. If you get a house, are you going to stay in Versailles or move somewhere else? We don't know. We can go anywhere. The future is unwritten. Hello, Omar. Do you think we'll ever get a Wolverine by Jason Aaron omnibus reprint volume or the volume one reprint soon? I don't know about soon, honestly. Because it just, we just got a Wolverine uh, and the X Men omnibus. So it might be, it might be a year or two. But then again, anything's possible. When is this supposed to do? Uh, Somebody's geez. emailing you something. Oh, okay. Yes. Yes. Rebel by design. Yes. All right. You got three more questions. Three Boss has spoken. <laughs> Every time I hear Chromium, I get Gen Thirteen flashback. God, those were the days. Yeah, Thirteen variants. Now you remember when Thirteen variants was. Uh, unheard of and now they're like 50 variants 40 variants move to florida less taxes and sunny and sunny and warmer and warmer cost of living is a little higher though right roberto rodriguez what are you and melanie gonna eat after <laughs> just scrounge that's what my mama called it we're scrounging just hope we get a new fridge. a new specter omnibus would be cool yeah that would be cool i would love that what is a good jumping on for for Spider-Man? I started reading Stan Lee's run. I think I need something newer. Uh, I always, I actually <laughs> suggest JMS's run. I think it's a great starting on point. McFarlane and uh, David Michelinie's run is a great starting on point for Spider-Man. Uh, Brand New Day and Big Time are great starting on points. It's a new day. It, what if you're hotter to me in that pick with Alf as your head? What if I'm finding? What are you talking about? Uh, Where did that the even come from? The profile pick. Uh, no. See. Oh, Did creepy! <laughs> what if I find that more attractive? Can you make me wear an outfit? Can we not do that? <laughs> no, let's not talk about that. <laughs> hey, Omar, have you talked to David about Thor by Friends Omni and Avengers by Stern Omni? And if so, what has he said? I haven't really. Uh, he. I he he's he I, I, I gotta be careful how I word this. He has seen my most wanted Marvel omnibus videos, and all he has said is there's some really good ideas that I share that we share together in there. That's all he said. Uh, and one of them was a Roger Stern Avengers omnibus. Uh, I'm not saying that's the one he's talking about because I did a top twenty. Uh, and also Tom DeFalco made my Thor um, in there too, so in the top twenty. So he did say not Nth Man though, <laughs> which yeah. Omar, what's your most prized uh, toy in your collection? That's a good last question. All right. For real, that is Hikaru from Magic Knight Ray Earth. I, the reason I, you signed up for eBay. Yep, and in, how many years? Over in, 10. In, 19, in 1998, I signed up for eBay. Or 1997. And I looked for her every week. She's from Magic Knight Ray Earth. Sega made some little statues. I had Umi and I had Fu. But I did not have the main character, Hikaru. In 2008, we were we went to Japan. And I said, I'm going to, I'm going to find her there. One showed up on eBay in March and we were going in June. And I said, this is the most you I'm going to pay for a toy. Better. But I remember <laughs> thinking, I'm not going to get it. I'm, I'm going to find it in Japan. And then last minute I said, you know what? I'm going to get it. Cause there's a small chance that I can't find it in Japan. I bought it. She came home. We went to did Japan. You, did you see her? I don't uh, remember. She's here. No, we, we went in Japan. We you? went to Japan and did not see her. And All I right, there looked. you go. So yeah. you you did the right thing. I um, do have a contact in Rebellion 2008, and I can always ask about oversized formats. Omar, I just want to say thank you for having a direct line to Marvel so fans can uh, voice their opinions. Thank that, you. But, that, and, and I'm just saying that was David reaching out to Omar. However, the work he put into the channel and it being wholesome yeah. is what attracted him. So... Yeah, he's good people. Thanks for that. Yeah, thank you all. Thank you all for being a part uh, of this. Um, every one of you. Thank you. Yes, thank uh, you. You make my Saturdays. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Worth like getting up and doing this. I look forward to this every Saturday. 
Uh, now the convention. I didn't like being late, but my hairstylist was 15 minutes late. So otherwise, I would have been on time. Now that uh, no, now the convention conventions are opening up, and I may go to some. I'm still gonna find a way to keep doing this every Saturday. Like even if I even even if I'm like at a convention, there I'm like, well, I have to go back to to the <laughs> are room. Are you gonna look through long boxes and have a camera and be? Like, <laughs> you probably could multitask that. Um. Okay. So this week we uh uh we're Black going Sabbath. to release. Um. Let's see. I'm going to hopefully this weekend. I'll film my no. I am going to this weekend film my top ten cutest moments <laughs> in Berserk because. I genuinely think they're cute moments and there probably aren't many videos like that. And it's weird. So I like it. I'm sure I'll get a lot of dislikes and that's okay. Let's see if I can beat my Marvel right, treasure. Honey, edition. don't do that. Okay? I'm not. You are. No, I'm no, I'm not. Yes. You can't tell me what I'm thinking in my head. I'm just saying, don't bring out the trolls. Just ignore um, them. Just stop. No, I don't think it. I'm, I'm just telling you. Funny. Okay, you. you know, it, I just know how people are. Anyway, that wasn't meant for the chat. That was only for her. The budget meeting will be coming out tomorrow, uh, early for Patreon uh, this afternoon. Uh, but thank you all so much. And that's it. Yeah, when conventions are open up, I will keep up finding a way to keep doing this. So I will be doing live streams from a convention with horrible services. Um, everybody, stay healthy, stay safe. Much love.